Hey guys, welcome back to We Watch Movie. I'm Mike. I am Jay. And we are going to watch Halloween Ends together. In a movie more celebrated than the movie Bros. <laughs> We're going to take you down this magical adventure. So let's go trick or treating. Let's go fucking drinking. Let's all go in pumpkin head on VHS. Because Halloween never ends. Halloween never ends. Halloween never ends. Yeah. I can't wait. This is my second time viewing it. This will be my fourth. Oh, wow. Overachiever much? <laughs> I try hard. But, uh, hey, we're going to have a good time. Don't yeah. you all worry your nips. We're going to have a great time. Yeah. And, and just before we get into it, uh, upon initial viewing, I gave it a 7.5. Jay gave it a 6.5. Both of us, both of us realize, as far as what this movie was broadcast is to be, as like the finale of this, the wrap up of everything, that if, if it was... That movie, they did a bad job of doing that. Yeah. But as a standalone movie, the reason that we both ranked it higher than probably a lot of people have at this point is because as a standalone movie, it, it's different. Like we know this isn't the last Michael Myers movie, no. and, and this isn't even the the. By the end of it, this will not be the true wrap up to this saga. There's so many other routes you can take. So did they do the perfect thing to wrap up this? If this was the, if we knew that this was the final movie in this franchise, I'd be fucking pissed. For sure. But I don't. So I enjoy it as a movie that you can go back and watch, and it's a little bit weird, a little bit different from the other movies. So, but here we go. There's still yeah. a lot of problems, and we're going to talk about them. compartmentalized it. Okay, yeah. it's like. PTSD. I went through war. I seen a lot of shit. <laughs> I saw H two. I seen a lot of shit, but we did some good over there. Huh? <laughs> We're watching the Peacock version of this, so we will say "sucking, fucking, touching." You could press play along with us, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, here we go: "sucking, fucking, and touching." Greatest Michael Myers movie ever. <laughs> Brought you to be you by the cock. The P right now, and the Earth. Oh yeah, yeah. You can't press the button. Well, I don't that. like this at all. Because what if it falls out of my <laughs> giant oversized ear? This is it's opening. It was like, when I heard this shit, I was like, WKYT, the Fox. <laughs> it threw me off because you're so like used it. to like the music or the yeah. ambiance. I love the soundtrack. Hey, bro, movie. do you want to go get a surfboard later? Because I do. <laughs> it's a great soundtrack. And I, by the way, I think this is my favorite Carpenter score he's done on these three movies. No, the, the score was amazing. And the cramps are on the soundtrack, too, which is dope. I had cramps watching this sometimes. <laughs> Minstrel cramps. Yeah, I did. Well, you gave me minstrel cramps. <laughs> How'd they do micro like that, though? <laughs> Blumhouse, I've got an awesome opening, though. Their, their like, logo thing is yeah. awesome. And I love this, man. I absolutely... They went back to the Halloween 3 font, which fits with this movie perfectly. How The weird shit that they did here, it's very Halloween 3-ish. Yeah. I was like, can somebody shut this shit off? <laughs> God damn. I kind of expected something to be a little bit more orchestra. Yeah. Yeah, it was shocking. That, uh, as soon as it started, I was like, oh, we're in for something different. I love the Halloween atmosphere in these movies. And they really threw up Halloween on these, and I dig that. Look, it's fucking Peter Parker. What's he doing on the Daily Bugle? My God. I'm just going to go kill the skid real quick. Don't worry about it. That's a nice ass car. There's some rich folks. What is that car? A Holy stomp? shit! What is that? Look, it's a drunk wino. <laughs> <laughs> no, she seems like she's sweet. This guy, I thought he was going to be a problem as soon as he walked in. I'm telling you, man, that looks just like the guy from Seven, who's like, he told me to fuck her, so I fucked her. I still haven't looked it up, but I, I, it might be I him. Don't, no, dude, that's not him. Better than your costume designer, you asshole. <laughs> Thanks, just, Dick. Fucking look like homo. McTurd. I hope you're better at watching your kids than you are making a Halloween costume. What? Well, I don't even get their theme. I don't so either. she's like a 1920s girl, and he's supposed to be like, I worked on the railroad tracks with John Henry. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> I don't way, get how you, that works together. You can feel Michael Myers in this scene. Oh, like, dude, I'll tell you what. <laughs> that's one thing I did. Like, dude, as soon as that fucking scene happened with a little bastard jumping out like that, I'm like, I hope you die. <laughs> and then guess what happens? My, my wish fulfilled. You got your wish. I hate that jump scare shit. I don't like those cheap jump scares at all. I don't know why I don't like them. <laughs> no one's. Yeah, I'm going to show you how to make a thunder hey, bomber. <laughs> I know, hey, you know how you make a thunder bomber? Go eat Taco Bell. <laughs> you make a thunder bomber all night in that toilet. 
He's gonna power bomb you from the fucking top steps like a sting. I will say one thing about this Corey guy. He's a good looking dude. Yeah, he is. He's like handsome. he feel like he definitely has like a, a fucking like a spy thing about him. Is he British? Uh Canadian. Eh, that's close enough. He's nice then. <laughs> he's a nice man. <laughs> he's more French then. I was gonna say he's kind of got like a like I'm not saying he could be. I'm just saying James Bondish. Yeah. Thing is, I, 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 I think he's gonna do things. I think he's a good actor. By the way, what she's telling him right here about the kid wedding, ever since the whole Michael Myers thing, oh. wedding the bed, having dark dreams. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> I, this is another thing that adds to the whole theme they had about like how Myers has infected the whole town. Mm. You like the COVID. <laughs> the COVID. COVID. I thought you, I, when I watched this for the first time, I thought Michael was going <laughs> to pop out. Hey, guys. No, I thought he was going to like do some crazy. Like It was going to be like, no. Oh! And like, just and shows like, I was like, like, smash them bitches' faces right into the mirror and go, yeah. <laughs> You're going nowhere. I got you for three minutes. That's not weird at all if it was Michael Jackson's house. Hey, little <laughs> kid, you gonna come play with me or not? <laughs> That's so creepy the way he says that, too. He's like, I know. it's Halloween. We're gonna have a good time tonight. Oh, dude, this is, I love this. It, the thing, John Carpenter's The Thing, yeah. which, by the way, is far superior than that original, that remake bullshit, still holds up. Amazing. I did think of this scene. I was like, all right, we already did the funny babysitter bit with Julian. Yeah. Don't do it twice. Well, when this kid gets to be like an old asshole, dude, I'd fucking hit that motherfucker with a bottle. Because <laughs> I can't stand that shit when kids are smart ass like that. It's an amazing scene. It is a great scene. That's an awesome scene. You just realized it wasn't appropriate for kids? Wait, on this motherfucking kid watches live PD on YouTube. He's seen it all. <laughs> Ugly, what you talking about, Snaggle Tooth and Droof? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got I'm gonna go jerk off in your mom's bathroom. You got five minutes with my Adidas shoes that are different colors. Why is his one shoe red and the other one's black? I didn't notice. Holy shit. Is that a new trend? He's we a weird the guy. No, I mean, I've seen other people that wear, like, mismatched shoes. By the way, who just leaves bread out like that? It's going to get stale yeah. and old. I thought, I really do. I thought there was going to be some high-octane Michael Myers moment at any point during this. Like, he was recovering from 2018, or there was, like, an in-between thing. I don't know. And nothing happened. <laughs> this motherfucker loves chocolate milk. He drinks it, yeah. Oh, a chocolate piece oh, of cake, too. This, this oh, banana bread. Bread from Outback from three days ago. Be careful with that Dude, shit. I can't it's touching your ear. My it's coming out. That's what she says. You know, he, he reminds me, dude. He could be Billy Cranston from Power Rangers. I don't see that at all. Like Billy. Now, Billy's a cool guy. Oh, like, Billy. Yeah, when Billy. Billy. When you said Cranston, I thought no, not 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 Zed, that Cranston. Because he actually did play. No, no, but Zed. Billy, yeah, from yeah. the original Power Rangers. It's weird because they made him look like nerdy, but he's also kind of built and jacked, and that'll be a which problem I, which later. Is what, yeah, I don't feel like that holds up. But it actually works because if, if later on when they have him as Michael Myers, if, if he was some like tiny kid, the, the overalls would be baggy and it would look right. So yeah. I'm glad he was actually kind of oh. physically intimidating. Oh, well, why are you worried about a little asshole kid? Let him go be an asshole somewhere else. Whoa, Jeremy! Who took the knife? No, they, by the way, did they explain that? Who took the fucking knife? I think maybe the kid did. Ooh, he was trying to kill you, then fuck him. He gets everything he deserves. <laughs> I hate people who wear pinky rings. See, if I heard that, the first thing I'm doing is like, all right, don't worry, buddy. I'm coming back with help. <laughs> and go out the front door. <laughs> like, I'm going to call the cops. Fuck this shit. You know, you know what this reminded me of when he was walking up the staircase like this? Do you remember in The Sixth Sense when, mm -hmm. he, when he got shoved into the closet and you could hear him banging? Yeah. That's what it reminded me of. He looks like he's got a wheat like <laughs> in his chin. It looks like he had his boner. Oh, there's the knife. Oh, okay. That's right. That's where it was. You know what's funny, though, is Michael, I, when I saw that the knife was gone, uh, the first thing I thought was, like, Michael's too selective. He wouldn't use that fucking ginseng shit. <laughs> he would, like, want a regular, like, 1970s fucking butcher knife. It's uh, ginseng. So, uh, Ginza. Ginza. Yeah. Ginseng is, like, in tea. Ah. Uh, Another scene, that, another thing that's not explained well in this, and one of the problems with the movie is that they do not explain things very well. Um, he clearly has this deep fear of the dark. When he gets Ooh. trapped up here, Corey, oh. when he gets trapped up here, he freaks the fuck I out. I know that. 
Uh, but just like with the parents and the mom kissing them on the lips and shit, oh, they just don't explain. That was weird. It. Yeah, I didn't like that at all. And it's another thing, and we'll talk about this as we go throughout the movie. But it feels like they made three or four different movies and just use bits of each one because it feels like there's well, some shit that they just don't explain. I, I just the the main thing with this, I just feel like the movie's incomplete. It just doesn't feel like a completed vision. I feel like there's three or four other movies out there. Yeah. Like you got to be decisive on this shit. Pick what you're going to do and make your fucking movie. But maybe COVID happened and the, and all that. And it just fucked up their, their swag. Orion Turks full of shit. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe that happened. That guy's a dick. Damn it, honey. I told you we should have had Franzia. <laughs> we had Franzia at home. You know, by the way, did you know what was going to happen? I did. I was I kinda, like, my kid's dead. I, I kind of suspected something like, well, I thought Michael was going to show up at some point. Then, then when that happened, oh, it's intense. This is intense. No, dude. What the? Oh, <laughs> dude, he fucking bounced. He goes, oh. <laughs> dude. I laugh. I should have laughed, but when, when I was in the theater, I was like, because <laughs> it went his like. It looked like he was trying to do like the worm. Yeah, uh, like he was like. Oh. I love this drop right here. The intensity when she's like, "Why did you go?" It's like killed your son. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, fuck your mother. I just want to go to the store for milk, but I don't need some because I have eggs. I don't need both of them. This song doesn't make sense. I'm done. I'm done. I'm a white rapper. No, you gotta go like this. Michael, Michael, the Myers, Myers, Michael, the Myers, and Michael, Michael, Myers, that lives. You just keep a... saying two words. No, listen. Lives in a sewer, ubu or doer. Oh my <laughs> God, Michael Myers. I love this, by the way. Three, they're three for three, by the way, on the openings yeah. with the cool ass pumpkin shit that they I do. thought this was cool. This was I didn't mind this at all. I thought, honestly, at the very uh, the last transition, what I thought would have been cool is if Michael's face had been in the middle of the pumpkin and then a knife would have come out. Yeah, like uh, kind of sort of H5-ish with the... <laughs> no, like, no, inside when it pulls open and yeah. it kind of goes in, you see Michael's face Yeah, and then I, a, a knife. I do dig it, though. Like, I'm glad they didn't shy away from that. And again, obviously Halloween 3 vibes. Do you know how many pumpkins they had to buy from Garden Ridge to they, do this? They spent a lot of money it's on ridiculous. pumpkins. But that little guy's coming. It's like it's like two sperms trying to... You know what would also be really cool? What if they had used all the pumpkins uh, in the beginning from all the Halloween movies? Like the different pumpkins? Yeah. Even though people, I mean, most people probably would have picked that. But that shit's not even carved. That's lazy as But far. it's going to rip apart. You know, this is what happens when Michael lives in the sewer. You don't have time to carve it. <laughs> you ever wondered if Mike, you ever wondered those pumpkins that are at the beginning of these movies, if Michael's carving them? <laughs> and they were just using Michael's carvings? These are my favorites. <laughs> then Michael does carve pumpkins. Gooey, gooey. God, David Gordon Green is such a terrible director. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, he's never going to come on the show. I like this, though. I thought the flashback was coming here, though. Like the cool flashback they did in yeah. Halloween Kills, but they didn't. Oh. This is a weird, like, hey, if none of you have ever watched a Halloween movie, let me catch you up real quick. That's how Michael looked standing over there. Is like how you looked when your mom locked you out of the house and you didn't have a key. Oh! <laughs> oh, they didn't show anything. He, he drops. He's like... <laughs> It's um the sound the sound effects in this movie are good though like the sound editing and the quality of that it's all like in your face even when Corey gets like shoved into the freezer thing it's just yeah. loud and like edgy I like it oh dude when they showed that firefighter thing oh my god I loved it it was so good woo yeah I got a few woo. places this is like showing the highlights of when Motley Crue was good <laughs> and then you know what's gonna happen he lives in a fucking sewer. <laughs> By the way, nothing ever came out of that window. No, nothing. Like it's like, again, I, I we're gonna have the writer on, by the way, on Tuesday, which is gonna be very exciting because we get to ask him things like that. I was like, hey man, was there any follow-up to that? By the way, they demolished the home. I don't know if you guys remember one of the first Halloween updates we did. We found out that they were gonna demolish uh the old Myers house. And I wanted to see Lori buying the house just to demolish it, but instead we're reduced to just a quick news clip that it was demolished. So this scene right here, by the way, when she's like always there when like something evil happens in the town. It reminded me a lot of like an American horror story kind of shit. Yeah. The town was infected. And there's just some dead folks in the like, Who the fuck did that? I think Will Patton did it. This is Oscar's mom, by the way, who's mm. hanging here. 
Oh yeah. Is she wearing the same? S- oh, I didn't notice. Maybe she was. Yeah, yeah. Is she? Yeah, it's a devil suit. That's kind of morbid. Does that <laughs> not look like the Halloween? In this five? economy, that you bought like a home. Nobody can afford it. Is that Halloween five? It looked like a Halloween five house. It does look just like it. Hi, we know her. <laughs> <laughs> I saw my monster this morning. I I had some alone time with him in the bathroom. I had had monster time this morning when I saw it. I was like, why are you you getting up early? (laughs) And then no one was around. (laughs) Stalkers, saviors, and scoundrels. Or did it say sunshine? I don't know. You're going to have to fucking lower that title down. Just call it Halloween. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Quit overthinking shit. It's like, or the babysitter killers. Or the babysitter killer. (laughs) Is that what's called? What was the original title? The Babysitter Killers? Yeah, I think so. Or Killer. Uh, babysitter Murders. Babysitter Murders, yeah. You know what I love, dude, about Allison's character is that it would be so easy for them to go real deep. Like, they kind of did with Scout Taylor Compton in Halloween 2. Mm-hmm. Like, I've been through all this, so now oh, I'm PTSD. dark and twisted. Yeah. yeah. But instead, like, her character is so strong that she just kind of, like, handles the shit that she's been through and, like, and li- lives with it. She's a little fucked up, but it's not like I, they don't overact it. They do be a honest job with it. To be honest with you, I would have, I would have rather in this movie, and I'll be a hundred percent. Lori Strode die early and focus the whole movie on Allison and her struggles against Michael. Um, that that character is at this point more interesting to yeah. me. God damn your fucking pies! <laughs> like she's like, oh fuck! No, she said, "I'm gonna make you a fucking pie." <laughs> 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 God, a little demanding there, Amber Heard. I wanted to d- make you a fucking pie, Johnny. Maybe wait till like 5 p.m. to start hitting the sauce, Grandma. I, I suppose that's a thing. I guess that could be a tradition. A pumpkin pie for Halloween. Yeah. I guess so. Yeah. I guess I've so. never baked one, but I just buy them from the store. Yeah, I just buy them from the store. Next time, Sam's Club. She's not good at microwaving shit either, as we find out. Well, microwaving is difficult sometimes because it's the time. Mm-hmm. It's hard to gauge. What's in the bowl, Kelly? Like, Pizzas or oatmeal? I, I'm so taking take a, a shit, shit in them. Uh, well, pizza rolls, for example, in the microwave, yeah. you can get them soft in the middle mm. or too hot, and it takes forever to cool down. It's an art. Uh, the bridge says, love lives today. What? The whole opposite to evil dies tonight. It oh. says, yeah, love lives today. Look, you know what? I don't like what happened you know, with Corey and the, the, the usurpation or the usurping of the, the Myers crown, but I don't think he's a bad actor. I didn't mind him. I he's great. Yeah, I, thought, I, I think he's – seems I, like an al- I, actor I, I want to look out for. I feel like they should have focused more on the dad relationship or the stepdad. He's great. It was really good. He's like, hey, I got you a motorcycle. Don't tell your mom. I thought they should have focused more, that they, they, but they kind of relegate him to like a comedy relief. And I'm like, dude, he's more interesting in his relationship with Corey yeah. than his mom. I love that guy, dude, because – Dude, all he wants to do is he wants to have a couple have a couple beers. He just wants to eat his spaghetti. He wants to go out in the garage and watch Hard Target. I love He's it. a good dude. Yeah. He looks like he looks like Sal Valtori's fucking dad from uh, Impractical <laughs> Jokers. He looks like Big Pussy from Sopranos' brother. Yeah, he does. But I love him, dude. I think he's a sweet guy. Like, he's yeah. a stepdad. And he's like, hey, man, look. Or is it his stepdad? I think it's his stepdad. I, they never explain it. It's a poorly explained Maybe thing. Maybe it's his dad. Or it, he also kind of looks like uh, the guy from Machete's <laughs> uh, cousin. Dan Trejo. Denny Trejo, yeah. But I like to do, like, you know, he knows this kid's got the bad end of the rap. Like, he didn't do that on purpose. What, what happened to the kid in the beginning? He's trying to be nice to him. Yeah. And everybody treats him like trash. And his wife is crazy as shit. Yeah, and he's like, wants to kiss me on the mouth. Yeah. God damn, it's fucking like people on the stairs part two. <laughs> That's why I can't wait to talk to Paul Brad Logan. So be like, hey, is there some, there's got to be backstory. I feel here, like right? that that character wanted to be expanded. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like, it, look at that asshole. Wiggle, Willie kid. You look like Piggy gotta go pee pee. <laughs> <laughs> this this is weird. Yeah, it's like I didn't really why is Allison dating 50 year old cops that, that look like shitty Michael <laughs> Shannon? Yeah, that motherfucker look like a, a copy of Sheriff Brackett from the original. <laughs> There's no fucking way, dude. The guy's the guy's a pretty good actor, I feel like. Yeah, he's but... a great actor. I, I don't mean things with his acting, but he's definitely like he's also a proponent for hair club for men. Yeah, it's definitely a show me your work cup. That, that shit looked like Trump wig. Show me your work couple. By the way, like when you see an attractive person with this, with a not as it attractive happens. purpose, like show me your work. How did we get from A to B? My old man Smither down there. This a bunch of people were trying to say this was Michael Myers and like these dumbass leaks that were. Dude, if out. that had happened, yeah, 
I was like, Rob Zombie 2 would have said, fuck yeah. Yeah. There's some weird Rob Zombie there. Halloween 2 is what I mean, but yeah. It says dude. I just Does shit it say dude? Pants and I can't I gotta go look at a circle cake. Hey, look, it's a, right up. It's a Pecan Mario tunnel. Wheels. It's a Mario tunnel, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, here's a nice piece of shit. <laughs> you got them Bud Light fans. That boy thinks he's fancy because he's got a bicycle. I don't. Ain't nobody fancy when they got a bicycle I, I, that's not even a 10 speed. I can get a bicycle if I wanted one. Dude, I, I will say this is a very different movie, though, because already we're not seeing Michael and we're pretty, I don't know what we're in, like 20 minutes. Yeah. And then uh, these Halloween fuck, 5 oh, reference, I think, with the car here. Yeah, yeah. But these Still douchebags, the look at the kid. With the fucking mullet that still listens to Billy Ray Cyrus thinking it's cool. Does he not look like the guy from Road Trip that says, oh, what'd you kill a fucking cheetah? Yeah. That guy's not a fucking... But, okay, by the way, they're band, they're band members. They are. It's usually the football team that's the bullies. These guys are fucking... They, they... <laughs> right. On but, high again, we live in different times, man. And anybody could be an asshole. You know what I mean? They'd be an asshole. I actually kind of like that they're not But look guys. how big Corey is compared to him. He could fuck him up. No shit. Like, that guy could yeah. breathe on him they'd fall over. It's a, it's a hard dichotomy because, like, A... You have to have him be believably bullied, but also you have to have him be believably Michael Myers later. So you can't get this tiny like McLovin looking. Kid. I don't know, but Corey looks like like he looks like he's got the power of Luke Skywalker in him. <laughs> like there's no way he'd be intimidated by these douchebags, especially that fucking mullet motherfucker. Look at that thing. That guy's yeah. like literally. He looks like he's like uh, he's like the face for hot topics. Hey, there's probably gonna be Aaron Rodgers like two more haircuts. <laughs> you know what you think? <laughs> he looks like he smells like vomit. Like 100%. Yeah. He just smells like vomit. That one girl is definitely a descendant and of that the That kid's Mulaney's. got bad breath, you could tell. These are terrible, terrible actors, by the way. Look at you. you your fucking face. That would scare the shit out of me, by Woo! the way. Yeah, if someone crushed like, the fucking glass, like, no. Nah. It's like that motherfucker coming off a crack high. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, and then he pulls it out. I don't like that. That's nasty. I love Lori in this scene. Yeah. I'm gonna be late for drum practice. You wear sweatpants every day, or is this just a Tuesday? No, thing? it's just dr they're all in drummer. Oh, you talking about the girl, yeah. the white girl? She looks like a fucking bitch that grew up from Rugrats. <laughs> <laughs> oh god damn! I don't like to see it. I don't like to see it or hear it. It's a dark. By the way, night. I will say the special effects on this is really, really well done. Hell yeah! By the way, Chris Nelson, you did a good job there, buddy. It's actually nasty. Those kids shop at Kohl's. Uh, and I know it's probably like latex or something, but it's fucking gross. Oh shit! I love this. That's that's fucking badass. That Lori's like, fuck these kids. She felt bad for him. Yeah. I wish that Loomis in H four would have had her when those no. fucking assholes left him in the dust. Oh yeah, yeah. I think it's like I hope he treated. I wish he treated Jamie like that. Don't fuck her. No. <laughs> you try to hide back, or you die. Keep him in your back. That pocket. looks like James and Courtney sitting over there in the waiting room. Yeah. I had a cat mask on. Grandma, I told you not to come to my job. That ball guy back there is the dude from uh, Breaking Bad. The detective. <laughs> it looks like James Shoot Courtney. So if you guys remember from the novelization, this is Dr. Mathis. Uh, the doctor and nurse combo from Halloween Kills, when they're at the bar, when they got to the bar, he was there. He's their boss. And when they got oh. to the bar, they had just showed up at his house where it was supposed to be a party. And then they opened up the door and Do Dr. Mathis had invited them to a swingers party. Oh. So Mathis was trying to fuck those two characters. Ooh. You gotta get your rocks off somehow. And it fits him and his character. By the way, dude, I want to say I love again Allison's character in this mm. because you can tell here she's not like burdened with grief. We already have characters who are doing that, but you can tell she's just a little bit more like confident and like short spoken and like you know what I mean. Like she's she's not so timid anymore. She's just yeah. very like comfortable in her own skin because she's been through some well shit. again i i definitely feel like the character of allison should have been explored more in this and made a more focal point rather than Lori. i don't think they did a bad job of it but they definitely could have done more they made her they, they made the romantical situation with her and Corey happen a lot more than i think it warrants because i feel like allison should have been the one taking on michael mm -hmm. you know you have this big again my opinion of the way that Lori strode should have gone out with Michael is my opinion. I mean, I wanted to end like that where they had this big okay. hole. <laughs> I don't know how to say it. What the fuck is that? I got something. Did, what you, did you just turn off your volume? No, I was, oh, okay. I was twisting it to make sure. Stop touching it. I don't. Maybe it's because I just either I have. I don't the outside of it and push it in. No, because don't might, touch the middle. It might fall in. 
gaping ear vagina? I do. I have a huge <laughs> ear because I have a huge fucking brain. But uh, like, based on what she's been through, she's very forward in what she wants, and I I think that that is a, like a very subtle but cool character change. But also, I I actually like again. We should have got more Myers in this movie and, and all yeah. that. And I, I, I'm with you guys on that. But at the same time, I actually love this connection these two have because a fucked up person saw the light of another fucked up person and was immediately drawn to them because of the shit that they've been through. And that makes sense. It kind of worked, though, with the, what they did in Halloween 6, though, with Paul Rudd and the girl. Right. But back like then, they, it was they all meet up surface. and then they have kind of a quick, like, I kind of want to have sex with you. I get it. But let's go and fucking stop Michael first, huh? <laughs> and then fuck later. <laughs> like... <laughs> What's your mom? It's like, so we're having chicken nuggets tonight. It's like, can I come over? It's like, no, mom doesn't like you. Get your own like, nuggets. I'm going to get my own nuggets. Don't you worry about how. No, get off. These are my nuggets. These are not your nuggets. There's Kyle Richard. By the way, barely in the movie. Not like pointless. I mean, really, her character's pointless. They're doing tarot readings. Yeah. And he's like, you just popped up. Are you drunk? It's a, <laughs> yeah, it's another way that they kind of fucked up because I don't even think they were gonna have her in this movie. And then they were like, everybody loved her, so we gotta put her in. But then they didn't do anything with the kids. When is this taking place? Four years after four the years. end of kills? Yeah, four years. Would it kind of I mean, I'm just saying around Halloween, I'm not saying that Lori wouldn't be over it, and obviously she's turned over a new leaf, but literally, um, What's his name is dead. I love this scene, by the way. <laughs> she's got that crazy. Dude, look at that. She's eating the spaghetti and it's all over the glass. It's disgusting. Can she show us her titties? <laughs> uh, if we're going to talk about true lies. I want to see J.B. Lee's dress. True lies. See Lee's it does dress. happen. I think she did show him once. I don't know what movie that was. Trading Places. What was that? I, that's what Scream said. Oh. But, dude, what kind of monster literally slurps spaghetti and then has the sauce in their mouth fucking... and drinks the milk and leaves it on the cup like that? The kind of disgusting. monster that loves ragu. She you monster. You're a monster. Ragu. By the way, if this woman, she needs to go back to Hocus Pocus. She looks like Bette Miller's cousin. <laughs> <She's>... <laughs> That's the weirdest fucking line of the movie. <laughs> <laughs> I love that, dude. I love that, dude. Boys. Boys who are like, bad don't get any when, custard. When, when he's doing this practice run out here in the in the in the junkyard, it reminded me. I don't know if you guys remember uh, Grease Two, but when the dude is like practicing riding a motorcycle because he wants to impress the girl, and they and he and he's and he can't ride, but he's trying to ride so he can be a part of the T Birds. This really reminded me of that. Probably one of those dumb things. Like I don't want to make a Halloween. I want to make a Grease Two movie. A Grease Lightning. <laughs> You got Halloween. Take it. Make a Halloween movie. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna ask Andy. Like, look how far her jeans are pulled up. Does that's, that hurt? Oh, that's the style. Yeah, that's the style. When now. did that come back? I don't know. That shit looked like Jean Claude Van Damme pants. It, it would definitely give me a wedgie. No, I mean, it just like it make your stomach hurt. I do love the necklace with the with the rings of her parents on it. It's a very quick way to be like to not not mention them and the struggles that she went through, but also to move through that since we already know what happened really quickly. That yeah. was a well written idea. Mm -hmm. Yo, Corey. By the way, he was already in the perfect position. He works as a mechanic and he's wearing a jumpsuit. Yeah, we already know what's going to happen. <laughs> ready to he didn't go. have to steal his shit. Goddamn automobile, you asshole. His dad is like the uh, the dude from American Psycho. What's his name? Or oh, he kind of seems like uh, Billy Loomis's dad in Scream. You know, when he shows up. Oh, and yeah. It's like, I didn't kill anybody, Sheriff. Look at those light. Look at those writings. Oh, my God. Dude, I love this scene because Hawkins and Lori are like the perfect match for each other. This is just natural to me. I love this. I don't know, man. Will Patton looked like. Well, he's getting. He's, he's. I know, but dude, like when I saw him, I felt bad for him. He looked like he, he could be on a like safe life repair, safe life repair. <laughs> he's definitely retired. Yeah, he doesn't look like he's. Uh, I don't know, man. Age is definitely. It's just, but it's just. I, I just think the 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 relationship between them is really. Yeah, the chemistry is good. I mean, I'm not saying the chemistry, but I just. You know, I always see him as Chick from Armageddon, and he doesn't look like you. You don't have to tell him for who it's from. 
<laughs> which is I I left this. Yeah. Or uh, he's also one of the bad guys in a uh, Punisher. No, I know. And and uh, fourth, he's in the fourth kind. Will Patton. If you guys don't know, like look up Will Patton, dude. He's a great character actor. He's in so much shit. I was so happy that they brought him back from the dead. It looks like an old professor at Harvard that would teach you the ways. <laughs> he does. But they're such a sweet fucking couple, man. Like, you just can't help but root for them to get together. Looks, uh... <laughs> Have you seen the price of potato chips? <laughs> <What>? <laughs> it's outrageous. Just the, the awkwardness between them is super sweet. Yeah. I bet his jacket feels like a quill. That shit's warm. They both look like writers. Jesus. I like your face. Good for you. <laughs> <laughs> he, she's like damn why don't y'all just fuck all i know it's like yeah you know uh, cashier's like this fucking annoying <laughs> what the goddamn is this like fucking like old people sleepless in Seattle? Hey, are you gonna enter your kroger card or not no that really My like, boss is realistically watching. like uh i'm working by the hour not by the minute can you go the fuck up this is super sad this too man weird, she's though. so happy when she walks I'd out and then it just i'd be like not my fault I don't care. it's a great example of how this just she can't escape it I'm like, yeah, she's like, what? It's crazy. Dude, I can't believe Sandra fucking lived. It's a Who? Who's you talking? Well. Well, if she can't talk, how you know she's mad? <laughs> <laughs> I feel fucking bad for her in this scene. I man. do that like it, but, it's, but it is interesting. This lady was saying you provoked it. Mm -hmm. And so they even recognize it, I suppose, as like a creature. And and later on, the uh, the DJ mentions it too. He's like, you made fun of a man with brain damage. And now like everybody blames her for it. But again, like, I don't know why she hasn't moved. Like, I, and I know Allison well, obviously does at the end, but if it were my situation, I'd be like, hey, let's get the fuck out. Maybe of it was because she was trying to be like, I'm strong enough to start over in the town that I grew up in. Yeah. It's a super sweet moment, too. You like some ferns? What if that was him? Woo! No, dude, I thought that was like, y'all gonna make me lose my mind. <laughs> you know, I was on a date with a girl one time, and her muffler actually fell off while we were driving. It was super awkward. I was kind of upset that we were going to miss the One movie, time I wasn't honest. on a date with anybody, and my muffler fell off. For, for real. <laughs> did <laughs> you actually lose a muffler once? Yeah, no, I really did. It just fell the fuck off, <laughs> and I kept going. Um, did, well, not for long. You can't drive. No, I know. If, no, I had to stop. Oh, on Exton Road. Yeah, that's what. That's with what my uncle. Her. I was with my uncle. Oh well. Yeah. Now this part, right? This uh, hot girl with the devil costume on. It, it. I feel like it's a throwback. Maybe I'm wrong, but to Halloween Five. Yeah, yeah. It's Mark Lynn's character. Yeah. I love. I actually, dude. That the scarecrow, we'll get to that later, but the scarecrow thing actually kind of trips me out. It's kind of freaky when what happens happens. There's Nick Castle. <laughs> That's probably his best cameo in the whole fucking series, by the way. And I'm glad that they finally left it in because he got his cameo. You know, I, literally, the last I, I literally to this point did not know that was Nick Castle. You I, didn't notice that? No, I just thought it was some fucking asshole. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's yeah. He finally got his cameo kept in the movie. It was a pretty good one. He should have had a beer on his head and taken it off and like took a drink with like a mask pulled up. <laughs> that would have been funny if they did that in the background. But again, I, I just I absolutely love what they did with the character Allison here because she is it's not this whole and it's fine if they if, if that people react that way, but she's actually strong in her grief. She's like, No, I'm gonna get fucked up and I like that guy and I don't give a shit, and that's what I'm gonna no, do. No, Allison wants to get fucked <laughs> by the by the what you did you drop the it's whole all, thing? Yeah, it's gone. I it's... Have to go get it. I have to go get it. It went on the other side. I know. Yeah. I actually dig the dance scene that they were in here too, because dude, it's tense. Like when you're watching it, and he like when he sets his shit down on the pool table. I'm waiting for someone to come up and get pissed and start a fight. 
there's just a vibe in here. You know something's about to go wrong, and eventually it does. Well, you know, to be fair, I think that Corey has a point when he's like, why did you take me there? Yeah. I'm not your fucking project. <laughs> I'd, I'd smack that bitch so hard on my fucking photo booth. <laughs> I'm like, I paid $2 for this shit. <laughs> I paid good money for this. And you fucking went, ooh. Yeah, like there, I'm like, oh, some biker's gonna get pissed. Well, you know, this is what I thought was weird is when he lays down on the floor like he's having a conniption fit. Yeah, like what the fuck is this? Is weird. It's tense though. Like it makes you. Th- I guess, but it's it like put what, you on edge. What kind of dance move is that? That would scare me. If I were on a date with this guy, he was like, ooh, oh, either he's having an epileptic seizure or he's fucking Jeffrey Dahmer. Like it's weird, dude. But it's, it, but I think it's supposed to be because like uh, uh, like that, these that, are two fucked up people. You see how she's holding her hands on his face? That's yeah. how she does at the end of the movie. She holds his face. Oh, like, yeah, yeah. So it's almost like a, a premonition. Yeah. I don't know. It's just intense. Like I don't know. I'd I'd be afraid that he was something was wrong with him, <laughs> or her. If she was, if I were with a girl that did that shit on the dance floor, I'd be like, I'm not fucking. I'm like, you're crazy, and I like. Oh damn, the, that 1920s outfit not been kind to you. You have the same haircut, too. That would be so fucking awkward. And you knew something was going to happen. Like, I didn't kill your fucking kid on purpose. <laughs> Go fuck yourself. Why are you here drinking? Go get a fucking job. And you you can't blame her, either. You know what I mean? Well, I mean, when it was that proven it was up. an accident. And that your kid was a little asshole. It's like, hey, he brought it on himself. He fucking literally locked me in a door. Instead, he got going. Ah, ha, 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 ha. I told him to stop listening to R. Kelly's "I Believe I Can Fly," but he just wouldn't listen. What an asshole! And then he went splat, <laughs> like the game. By the way, that's Kyle Richards. That's her whole. That's the biggest important scene. She's a bartender that does nothing. Yeah, they they wasted that opportunity for sure. All right, we're almost to the point where we're going to see Michael for the first time, so I'm going to take my quick break real 40 quick. 40 minutes in. That's that. It's it's a little late for sure. But just one thing I'm going to say, I, again, I dig the relationship between these two. I think it's kind of fucked up that they're both so fucked up and they're drawn to each other. I think that's neat. Oh, what a pretty little outfit. I wonder if she's got it in my side. I wonder if she's got it in my side. Not your fucking project, girl. I do feel bad for him, though. I'm not going to lie. Because, it like... Dude, the weird thing about this relationship, and I do kind of dig it, um, it just feels a little out of place because it is supposed to be a Halloween movie, but it does remind me a lot of the 80s um, kind of uh, geeky kid meets up and falls for, or, or even the um, the popular attractive girl falls for him. I did like that. I think it was cool, but... <clears throat> He's got a good point, though. Michael Myers is dead. I'm going to Yosemite. Going, not with that shirt, young man. Okay, but this is very much like <laughs> Kirk Cobain. I'll spare you the heartache. I got to leave. <laughs> I'll be like, all right, well, obviously this... Very nice and attractive girl wants to help you, and you're just like, I'll spare you the heartache. I gotta go my own way. Is this the Scott Stapp story? Again, I don't understand that fucking kid at all. Like, I don't none of these bullies I understand, like that they could bully this dude, but that kid with the drumstick guy, oh my god. Handshakes and friendships. Don't like it, Ham. Hey, I fuck. Oh God, I would. Ooh, that kid. That that kid's face, dude. I'd lose my mind. I'd throw him over the fucking bridge for real. For real, dude. These kids. Listen, this whole like these bullies are fucking terrible. They're not like. I mean, I mean, like I just don't like the way they were written. I don't think the acting's on par. I think it's fucking stupid. First off, you get to. Pull. He got a blank though. My fucking got a blade, though. It ain't no butterfly knife. Fuck you, dude. That, like you're, dude. This dude is so much bigger than these guys, and he's definitely stronger. But they're trying to make him look weak. It just doesn't make any sense. Look at his shoulders. This probably look like he worked out back day. 
Oh my God. I know what it feels like when your father hits you. It's got deep there for a minute. There's no way. There's no way. Okay. I'm sure he's fine. <laughs> Don't worry. I'll ratchet down and look. This shit turned into I know what you did last summer because I'm stupid. <laughs> like, yo, go down and check. Are you serious? He fell? That's what my story is. It's very I know what you did last summer. And then you got uh, old man Jenkins over there looking at it all. This is where it gets confusing to me. Like, um, okay, Michael took him for what reason, though? I know I don't understand this. And even when the hobo McJim, like him, he comes out later on. Yeah, see, he's talking. I don't know. It's uh, what you say. I don't know. He's got a dick in his mouth. So Michael pulls this kid in, and the hobo McJim says later on that he's been taking other people in there. I mean, does he eat them? Like, what the fuck? Does, what I. I guess it's because he's using them as a source of, of murder so he can survive. I don't know. It's fucking, it's a little strange. I don't, you know, I got this with no warranty. Hmm. Very cute. I never did photo booths. I've never done the little cutesy. Is it worth it? Ooh. Splinter. So it's just weird. It, like, okay, so the only way I can figure this with Michael being in the sewer system, all right, is that, and he drags people in there, is like, and he, and he leaves them alive and he props them up against a wall, is maybe to hunt them so that it somehow empowers them. I don't know. Like, I was, just, I just, I didn't get why he kidnaps people and like leaves them alive when he puts them in there in his sewer pipe. I bet that smell is like straight R. Kelly bed sheets in there. Like old dry pee. Oh, sweet. I didn't miss it. No. Came at just the right time. I always do. That's what she said. Well, and you know, this was ruined by the trailer. Yeah. Because everybody knew this was coming. It was intense as shit, though, in the theater. Cool. The I first time like, you see it. It's a, it's a, what you walk on my potpourri? What's your favorite power? I feel Ranger? like Michael was looking. You know, I was like, oh, you kind of cute, though. <laughs> <laughs> and here comes the craziness. <laughs> Dude, I hate fucking Bluetooth earbuds. Like, I don't even know where that fucking thing went. There it is. It's like. I just don't know what's happening here. Is is Michael possessing him? Is Michael gonna kill him? But he sees his pain. No, and he decides not to. I don't like, think it's. I don't think it's pain at all. I think that Michael recognized something in him, and real, then, recognized real, and and then gave him a little piece of his seat <laughs> and said, "Bitch, I just fucked you psychically." Music's so good here. I just fucked you psychically. How you like that? Yeah, like what happened there? Like, and then he's like, oh, he's like "I ain't gay." <laughs> But if Michael can do that, like, why has he never done that before? Maybe he's desperate now. Like, yeah, I, that could be it. It's just crazy. I like there's a McDonald's right what there. Was the movie, in case Michael gets hungry. There was a movie where, well, no, it was Emperor Palpatine. And I know this is really way off, but Emperor Palpatine uh, and uh, the Rise of Skywalker, whatever, was kind of like nasty and old. But when he starts sucking that power from the two of them, he starts getting bigger. Yeah. But like, like maybe he needed him. Look at this fuck. He he like wiped his mouth like he just got cummed in it. <laughs> he, did. he did that thing that, that players in the NFL do after they make a good tackle, like, which I hate. This is dumb. First of all, I, the, but the main thing, I can go with that, but I have to make that up in my own story, my own mind. I don't feel like the writing was clear enough to understand. Why does Michael kidnap people and put them in the sewer just to stay alive? I get. And he says, the 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 hobo guy says, he's like, when Michael, when he pulls people in there, they don't come out. So Michael's been doing this. I, I, I understood that one part that that old man hobo mcpherson said but most of the time it's not like he's talking with a dick in his mouth it's, it's too fucking like ah, 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 ah. it's hard to talk with a dick in your mouth it really is i mean we've all been there no one will see by the way if you just killed a guy don't just throw the knife no. 20 yards away dispose of it properly okay go put that shit 
fucking put it in the sewer where you just came out from. <laughs> Say Michael did it. God, the music's so perfect right here. But yeah, it's it's like again, I feel like the pro the biggest problem for me in this movie is I feel like they made four movies and they used one of them. So some stuff just seems confusing, like and, and, and ill explained. On the other hand, I like that because Michael Myers is supposed to be about mystery. You're not supposed to know everything, and it adds these fun questions and things Truthfully, to talk about. But this was decent. I did like that. I bet his ass is straight swamp juice. This is but, you when you're drunk trying to. Like, I know, and then you realize that I'm you gonna quit tomorrow. And then you like realize you shit your pants, <laughs> and you're not only your pants, your underwear. But no, the thing about I thought his hand was gonna be healed. Yeah, way. I don't know why I thought that, but I thought it was gonna be some magic shit. But either way, uh, no, I, I agree that I, I just, stare at myself I like, like this all the time. I stare at myself when I shit a lot. <laughs> it's like am I dehydrated? I feel like there was just a like an incomplete feel to this movie. I don't know why. Yeah. It, it, they they did a bad job explaining things, and again, you don't want them to explain everything. But it felt like they went a little too deep into well, the. You're like, gonna figure it out. You're, you're gonna change the nature of Michael. You're gonna have to give some more explanation, right? Like so, that's the main thing, I guess, because you need some exposition if you're gonna change the nature of what Michael Myers is, which is fine. If you want to play, you know, your own games, but you got to make sure that the audience understands that journey, right? And like, and on one hand, it's exciting, like. The fact that Michael does that, it's like, oh, shit, we're going somewhere new. The franchise has never been, and this is exciting. But the fact that they never, like, earn it, you know what I mean? Like, they never explain it or even hint at it enough to explain what's going on. It, it feels almost, as exciting as it is, it's almost frustrating. It'd be weird, though. It's like, <laughs> I got a Michael Mars story. It's like, yeah, what happens? Like, I met him in the sewer, and he choked me, but I liked it. And he let me go. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, is this Basketball Diaries right. or a Halloween movie? <laughs> it, it, this is a... It's a Perfect example, by the way. My God, son. Bluetooth sucks, dude. <laughs> it sucks. Uh, oh, look. That's a little heavy-handed to me. A little too much. A little, little too much. A little too much. The lawyer's like, oh, I've seen that before. <laughs> oh. It's frustrating, though, because like it's it's exciting, but like, you just, just a couple little... I don't know. This is the second time I've watched this. Oh, my God. Where did he fucking come from? Like, seriously, where the fuck did he jump from? He, like, that yeah. motherfucker came up like a Mario tunnel. Yeah, y'all are just adding shit in with no uh, explanation. No, no, no. You're kind of man in black having fiving it at certain points. Um, I don't know, man. This is the second time I've watched it. I'm getting a little bit more angrier than I thought I was going to get when I was watching it again. Because I was, like, hyped up when I was watching it. Because it's, oh, my God, it's Halloween. Which, by the way, I'm always happy when a new Halloween movie comes out. It's fucking awesome. But it's still like when you're watching and you're trying to figure out like the plot lines and where we're going. And I'm like, ah, what the fuck you doing though, dog? Yeah. Like if, if Michael can do that, why has he never done that before? Like, well, I, well, they could have at least dropped hints in 2018 that he had some kind of psychic yeah, there's no phenomenon connected, in there. The connected tissue is off. And that's why people are frustrated. And this is like the main difference between why I, I like this movie, but I also understand why people hate it is because for me, I'm looking at the franchise as a whole and I'm thinking I'm going to go back to this movie. And when I'm rewatching re the whole franchise, when I get to this movie, I'm going to be excited because I'm like, this is going to, it's, it's going to be like a, a palate cleanser. It's yeah. going to be strange and different. And it's going to be not the same Michael's hunting Lori over and over. Which again. I love. I don't, I, I you know, we, we've talked about this multiple times on this channel. They need to go elsewhere. Right. Without Lori. But, Here's the thing about this movie. I feel like they were dropping a lot of heavy shit in this movie that was not established in, at any point in 2018 or Kills. Right. So it's frustrating. And you're like, what the fuck? Where did this shit, where the fuck did this happy horse shit come in? And again, I love the acting between these two in this the movie. The acting is good. But the fact that he would just randomly go, I killed a person. And she, without any thought or anything, just goes, yeah. I do cool. like, <laughs> like, you got it. Like, like a couple lines would have fixed that problem I, and, and you, david gordon just has this problem i feel like he omits very simple things that would fix the problem i feel like it's like one of those things like hey i don't like this town anymore you want to run away with me yeah <laughs> <laughs> come be gay with father and yeah I. yeah it's like i get what you're going for but just the, a music, couple, though? the music is good though yeah like, dun, dun, dun. just a couple lines would have fixed that it's like you're your own no, worst enemy mind. Yeah, dude. I'm like, listen, there's there's a couple of nuggets of really good like this shit's like over dramatic. I feel like it's very Shakespeareans. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what are you doing that? It's like he's praying to the bat cave. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Love you. Love you. Good night. Good night. Hey, That's a nice ass house. I don't think he would have said empty.
I guess it's one of those haunted things, maybe. Oh, fuck the kid. Well, the housing prices. Oh, that yeah. Was, that In this was, housing market, that would have sold no, like if that. If I know that kid did that shit, I'm like, fuck that kid. I'll live here. <laughs> he got what he was coming. Bet Midler 2.0. She's got a Karen ass haircut and she's Karen. He's a straight up Karen. What do you mean I gotta wear my mask and stop? Stop. Oh, oh, you don't have more Diet Coke? (laughs) You didn't go back and check the stock room? I'm calling corporate. (laughs) (laughs) She looked like she smelled fart. (laughs) Like she fucking crop dusted. She probably did crop dust. She crop dusted her when she walked by. I have no shape. I got some Activia. You want some? You cuss your, you kiss your own son on the mouth, you nasty, you <laughs> nasty hoe. By the way, listen, I know that's a preference. Like some people do that, like they kiss on the mouth. But I, it was I, meant to mean. I mean, something. it's weird though. It's yeah. weird. The way he, the way he, Jesus Christ, dude. I'm telling you, I would rather use a wired fucking goddamn old school <laughs> 1970 fucking black box with a fucking eight track player than this again. So Corey's at this point. He's getting mad. Yeah, Corey's clearly been fucked up by whatever happened, and he's changing. He's got that Michael. He's got that Michael virus in him. <laughs> he's got that Michael C. This is where the the Donnie Darko vibes come in for me. Like he really feels like Jake Gyllenhaal and Donnie Darko to me in these scenes. But but I love this woman who comes up. And she's like, God damn, I was just trying to bring some fucking. The only thing I don't like is fucking. It's like you got STD by Michael. <laughs> you got that Michael virus. I don't know. It's kind of weird, but I get it. I mean, I don't know. Just. Again, I feel like it's so out of place. Like this movie, to be honest with you, okay, I look at it as a trilogy set. 2018 kills this trilogy set, like the the Nolan trilogy. But this movie feels so out of place from the other two. Mm-hmm. Like they were going one way, and then it kind of drifts. Which at times so is nice, far. but at times it's not. Well, it drifts so far from what they were already setting up for the in the in the first two, right? Which is why I say, like, I, I get people's anger if you expected, and they told you they would, and that's on them. They told you that they were going to complete this trilogy and and wrap it up. Well, just play by your own rules. Right, right, right. And then, and then they, at the last second, they were like, no, actually, we don't feel like doing that. We're going to make a whole different movie. Mm-hmm. So that I understand. Just for me is, like, if they just wrapped it up in, like, the most generic ways, I feel like I would have been bored with it. So I'm actually, like, excited by the weirdness and the strangeness where I get why people are pissed about it, though. You have handcuffs in your bedroom, huh? <laughs> I do. I like the <laughs> dark fucking shit. lube for Maybe, everything. Yeah. I was like, this is one of those movies, like, if you're if – you can tell based on your opinions. Would someone – get out of here! Whether or not you like weird stuff in the bedroom. I like how he was like, would someone – done? Oh, God. Dude, so, for, Michael Shannon. All right, here's the thing, though. By the way, I wouldn't need to have a fucking Michael Myers juice in me to get mad. If I was sitting with my girl and some guy was like, hey, so anyway, I'm just telling you, like, if you want to. Yeah. Like, in front of me, motherfucker. <laughs> I'd go, like, goddamn Jersey Shore. Yeah. Like, what, Ron? Yeah. Ron, I, stop. Honestly, his reaction here is not that. No, it's, it's not totally normal. normal. Yeah. Yeah, fuck him up. I'm in your shit, dude. <laughs> I'm in your mouth. You know what the funny thing is? That motherfucker probably 30 years old with that kind of goddamn look. He's, it's not the fucking age. It's the mileage, honey. No, I'm scared. No, I'm telling you, he's older. Than, he's like fucking 30 years older than Allison. Like, there's no way that he's not pushing almost 60. Yeah, that was definitely or one of those. Maybe I'm going through, a, I'm maybe going through a fucked up period right now, and I messed up. Kind of like, it reminds me of Silver Linings Playbook with, uh, not Jennifer Love. No, uh, look, from that angle, maybe late 40s. Yeah, definitely too old for her, though. Well, she's in her thirties. See, that's one of those. That's one of those things. Like, does it feel corny? I don't know. No, but dude, I kind of dig the this, weirdness. This whole thing right here that's happening. Do you know what this reminds me of? Reminds fear. Me. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fucking fear. Fear dude. mixed with drive. Like Mark bit. Wahlberg fear. Like it reminds me of him being like a manipulative kind of asshole. Yeah. And he's kind of crazy, and he's like manipulating her to be on his side. Yeah. Like, hey, your dad did this to me. <laughs> Like, he was, like, doing that kind of shit. Nicole like, forever. This shit reminds me. Like, this motherfucker, like, goes from uh, Billy Cranston to fucking the Fonz. <laughs> and, like... Oh, you just pause the movie, dude. Okay, we'll be, like, a second off. It'll be good. We caught it quick. Well, I'm sorry that I have to keep... You know what? I'd rather... Just touch the outside. Just get the I tr- outside. No, it falls out on its own. I don't know what to tell you. I just... I feel... I wish we could just take the copyright strike and fucking let you guys watch the goddamn <laughs> thing with us. <laughs> But again, like, this is another point in the film where people who hate it are getting pissed. Where and I'm it? actually... Is that my... That wasn't Michael. I'm actually going... No, that's him. That's the is that cop him? guy. That's the cop Oh, guy. the cop yeah. guy. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. And I'm actually thinking, like, I'm digging the vibes. Like, this is dark and twisted and kind of weird. 
I'm digging it. I, but it's a good I, time to take a break. Like if you I, don't want to miss anything. Cause it's about to happen. No, I'm gonna watch. I gotta, I gotta go. I gotta go do my thing. But I, I'm gonna watch this. But here's the thing: when I saw this in the theater, this does remind me of Fear, like a very much Fearish, uh, Mark Wahlberg thing. So it's it feels like two separate movies. It really does. But when the guy was watching him, I didn't know it was the cop guy because he had a, the. I thought it was Michael. Right. And I was like, oh, I'm just checking up my son. But it's yeah. But it's another situation where I know I realize and I agree that Michael's not in this movie enough. But it actually didn't bother me because I feel Michael's presence in this movie. Like, you feel him around. Like, it feels well, I I, tense the I, entire time. I think I told you, like, yeah, if you go to church, you feel Jesus around you all the time. <laughs> and, like, you feel Jesus, but uh, he's not there uh, in the flesh. I don't know. I feel like there should have been more Michael. I, I will say that. I think that Michael should have existed more in this movie. And the frustrating part is it would have been so easy. Easy. Like, to yeah. just throw a couple so of kills. I, I get in. that. I mean, the, ne the, the, the negative response that's saying Michael's, I get that 100%. Yeah. yeah, it is a Halloween movie. It is not a romantic drama. Uh, and I get that. But, you know, I didn't mind they were trying to play around with certain new things. What I don't like was the fact that Halloween 2018 and Kills never set this shit up. So you switch the character around like that, and mm. it's like so people are supposed to react. Like for me, it's like Temple of Doom in the Indiana Jones trilogy. Indiana Jones, Raiders of the Lost Ark, and Last Crusade makes sense, and then you have uh, Temple of Doom in the middle. It's right. like I, don't, I mean, it's so different. Yeah, it feels like you got tired of playing with your toys, and you're like, I want to do a new story. It's like, yeah, but we're here for this. So yeah. I, I do get why people are upset. I just, I could, I still. You see how, you see how he, he straddled him? He wanted to fuck. Him. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do, 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 do. I'm going into the <laughs> into the cellar tunnel. This guy's so stupid, though. Like, you know that this guy has possibly killed a kid. He's clearly fucked in the head, mm -hmm. and you're gonna chase him into a dark tunnel with no backup. Night? Yeah, uh, you got a gun, but you're obviously drunk as fuck from the bar. This is where you find out he's a Mulaney, by the way. It's like nobody fucks with Doug Mulaney or whatever his name is. I bet if dude, you're scared, it, just leave. Go home. Have dude, a fucking ramen dinner and and let it be. That whole place probably smells like Courtney Love's pussy. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like disgusting and damp. It's a place and I never want to be ever. Like God, you just imagine the, the hopelessness in there. By the way, when Courtney Love finally sues us, I'm just gonna say I've not said anything outside of what other people. So she sues us and doesn't OD us with heroin. Hey, can you? Hey, can you make more garbage or hold? Oh, dude, I love that shot right there of Michael just fucking. Dude, yeah, like, oh hey, yeah, in the that background. scene, dude, that scared the fuck out of me in the theater when he was sitting there going. Oh. And this is where I like this actor's performance too. It's very fucked up, Michael Shannon scarecrow. This is kind of stupid though. I will say it's a little over dramatic and kind of like where he's like standing there. He's like, like that. Oh, I know Michael's going. I don't know, I, and he's smiling. Like Michael's his dog. I yeah. didn't like that shit. Like, yeah, I don't like how Michael. That's kind of like stupid. It, yeah, it does feel like that. And then he's gonna try to. I'm gonna impress Michael. Yeah. And she's like, "Show me." It's like, "Bitch, have you ever seen a movie? It's pretty simple. He's you like, pick come up on. the knife and you stab. Get up, you son of a bitch." Michael looks like our skits in this. He's like, "I'm <laughs> yeah. tired. No, I'm, I don't want to do this right now." He's like, "I was saying that in the theater. <laughs> Get up. Show him who's boss. Don't let this fucking Billy Cranston motherfucker, this dumbass." Share fucking fuck you up. <laughs> I love dude that that lightning flash right there and the music kicking in, fucking badass. I right. love this. I like it. Now look, he's all crypt up, right? And he looks like goddamn fan of the opera. Yeah. Like, but I like that. I this is cool, dude. Watch yeah, when he's like, This is cool. Mm -hmm. I think this is cool. Like he gets that juice juice. He gets that juice juice. That should feel good though. This is that pre-workout shit, huh? <laughs> it's kicking in. It's kicking in. Look. Oh. This is yeah. like working out for the first time after COVID. Like, oh, I'm feeling the that juices. Feel, that feels nice. I'm back. Yeah. I'm thinking that, I'm back. That, that's how I looked when I took a fucking shot of Four loco. <laughs> and I did. That shit's strong, dude. Dude, I love it. When he gets into it, you're like, oh, shit. Like, it pumps you up. Dude, I, I was excited here. The music was like, please. Now Michael's going to be it. And then Michael... Michael becomes goddamn Alfred. Yeah, it's like, no, I'm actually still tired. <laughs> He's like, yeah, that took a lot out of me. I'll, yay, youngster. I got to go take a shower and lay down. I love that scene, though, man. The, the way he grabs the knife that's just been sitting there that and was, the lightning flashes. This, Look at him. He's like, oh, yeah, that shit feels good. Next Saturday night, Ultimate Warrior <laughs> will feel Hulkamania. <laughs> Dude, I love it. I do love it, but I understand where it's like nothing happened from that. Yeah. Like, all this juice. 
this juice juice. It would have been nice if he was full strength from here on out after that. Yeah. Like what and she said before, when he kills, he transcends. Or even oh look, he's so weird here. Like, yeah, shit. don't be smelling booty. Why are you smelling her tits? She he's like, Oh yeah, I like that bra. <laughs> he's like, hey, I'm gonna walk over here mad. Like she was it, she was like, Allison was like, Yeah. <laughs> and he was like, oh, I'm going to walk over here and sit on the couch angrily. <laughs> no, you should make out with her on the wall and then go upstairs and have a good time. But nope. Yeah, that's I, that, that may be my favorite scene from the movie, though. That was a, where he kills was the dude. He's like, oh, I'm feeling dude, the juices are flowing that, in my nuts. That motherfucker got like a fucking 12 pack of Gatorade shoved down his throat. <laughs> he, he just chugged ready. a he just chugged a surge. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, that's like when motherfucker get like a snicker bar on the sideline. It's like, I'm ready. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna take my break though. This is weird, by the way. A lot of people complain that like later in the movie, like. How does Michael get to the house? Did he ride on the motorcycle with Corey? What was going on there? But this was happening throughout the whole movie. Michael got there here too. Again, maybe poorly explained through the writing. Uh, but you, you you end up in this no, no man's land where it's like, is it poorly explained or is it supposed to be poorly explained because we want Michael's lore to be mysterious? And it just depends on how you feel about that. He wakes up. He's like, you know, I'm feeling good. Maybe I will just go fucking kill people. Yeah, I think I will. And again, just one more time, guys. I, I think the reason that I end up liking this film is that I'm just like, I get as a as a wrap up. If this was the end the true end i'd be upset but i know it's not so when i look back at this film i look at it as it as when i watch this whole franchise this is going to be a film when i get to it i'm going to go i'm going to be excited to watch it because i'm like it's different it feels it's it's it sits outside the lines and i know there's going to be another one too and even if you're like yeah but this is supposed to be the wrap-up to this story there's different timelines. There's the H2O wrap up. There's 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 resurrections wrap up. You know, I, I never needed this to wrap those threads for me. And I never thought it was going to. So I can enjoy it as an outlier. But I do understand why it upsets people. And also, there's not a single bad performance in this movie, too. Even this is as a character actor in this role. It's a deep scene where he's explaining how I'm actually it makes me mad when I see other people upset about what happens to my son because it makes me feel like they're taken away from my pain. And I think anybody who's been through something traumatic. I, I feel like you can feel that like, you, you know, where he's coming from. And that's right where Lori here gets upset, too. You can see her start to feel exactly what he's mean when what he means when. When other people get upset for you, it's actually upsetting because it feels like no, you 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 don't understand. Like you weren't fucking there. And there's just some, some nice deep threads, like emotional stuff that I, I dig about it. This scene is also proof, by the way, that Michael did something to Corey, like where his eyes changed and he became dark or whatever. Whatever happened in that tunnel, this scene is the explanation that Michael gave something to him. It wasn't just a one-way street. Michael definitely put something inside of him, and it, and it wasn't a weird smelly wiener. Which probably would have been worse, to be smelling honest. Smelling wieners are the worst. Yeah, especially Michael's. God, it sucks. Love this scene. Very screamish. Super scream vibes in this whole scene. Dude, that girl's hot as fuck, though. She's she she <clears throat> takes care of herself too. She's kind of ripped. Do you know what she reminded me of? The first time I saw this trailer was also she reminded me of a uh, like. There's just certain angles that she looks like Sarah Michelle Geller. Mm -hmm. And then I I said that to my wife when we were watching. I was like, that looks like Sarah Michelle. She's like, no, it doesn't. <laughs> she's so because she loves like Buffy. She's like, no, it doesn't. Not even close, dude. He's so creepy right here. He's like, yes, yes. Yeah. <laughs> you're so it's fucking like, hot. Oh. 
This is fucking Harvey Weinstein. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> it's what, so meta. That's, that's what it is. <laughs> yes, yes. Watch, it's so creepy. Yes. You know what? It's like the Joker. You know how I know? Actually, I got these scars. Listen, because you know when when she's like, it's all about that money, though. When they got ankle bracelets, she had like a fucking diamond ankle bracelet too. Woo. Bad dialogue right here. Is there a doctor in the house? I'm like, oh, come on. Yeah, they call me Dr. Pussy. <laughs> <laughs> that shit looks like he got that on Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> that don't even look like a fucking fancy ass dress, though. I think it's one of those like expensive Japanese. I know, like... but it, well, it's always funny that people pay an exorbitant amount of money for like a piece of material. Can't that... get my can out. Gosh, you're so weak. You're like Michael. Ugh. You can't kill anymore. <laughs> <laughs> look right there. She looks like uh, Sarah Michelle Geller. Yeah. Paging Doctor Mathis. Why you call him Doctor Mathis? What's his first name? <laughs> Jim. I thought you guys. Are you guys on a? Hey Jim. Are you guys on a first name basis by this point? No, his name would be like Norton. <laughs> hey Norton. Hey Norton's antivirus. He does have a nice house, though. It looks like Wolverine lives there in Japan. <laughs> <laughs> it does. The samurai will come, <laughs> and I will defeat him. I hope it's not the yakuza again. I, dude, I love the shot we're about to see. This is cool. This and will throw people off and they won't like it, but I think it's fucking I, freaky. I was cool. weird about this whole thing, dude, because I was like, okay, the whole thing with the team up. This reminds me of a Batman. Like, this reminds me of a Batman and Robin situation, though. I get that, but it, I, like, it's cool. But I mean, at the same time, it's like <laughs> the way you look. It's scary. It's actually creepy. <laughs> it freaks me out. It's like, weird. It was like the Strangers, yeah. or the Purge. I don't like how he reacts yeah. right now. Here, this though. is like right here when he's like, oh. And he's like, starts freaking out. It's now, like, Michael needs to teach you to calm the fuck down. Yeah, Michael comes out like fucking, uh, like, Robin. <laughs> I should have waited for backup. <laughs> well, I, I don't like that. And if this had been, like, if they had done a crossover where Jason was, like, teaming up with Michael on accident, it would have made sense. I just, I, I, he's scary in this moment to me. And then. No, the scene is bad. When Michael does. Woo! -wee. Oh, get it done, motherfucker. God damn. Dude. And and again, the score elevates it. It's so good right here. By the way, I would I look love like, scene. I would look like Corey as a fan watching. I'd be like, <laughs> yeah. I want to see you work. But again, this is again a thread where it feels like they made three movies and only used one of them. Was his hand healed? I don't know. It's not because it's infected later on. But why are we showing it this looks, where he's it, like looking at his hand? Why are we is, spending time on this? This is kind of I don't like that he looked over. He's like, You watching, son? Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna show you how I do it. Quickly before the fall girls in, tell me that you like. I don't like that at all. It does feel very Batman and Robin-ish. I don't know. But I, I thought the scene where Michael like does that. He been mirrors her. You're cool. gonna learn today. That's how me and Mike would put our hand to the glass, though. If we saw Michael in real life, we'd be like, Thank you. <laughs> or if we saw Sean Claude Van Damme walk by, I would. I'm like, Can I suck your toe, sir? <laughs> <laughs> That's so uh, it's creepy looking. But I dig I, that because it's, I don't know. Again, Donnie Darko vibes. And again, I love the score. I would say it was Donnie Darko vibes if it was if he was imagining shit. Yeah. This is so to me. This is so fear. This is so Mark Wahlberg yeah. fear, like because he's like manipulating her to think that he's doing the right thing for her, mm. but he's only manipulating her to like get whatever he wants and then move on or something. I don't know. But again, I just like that shit looks like Terminator Two. <laughs> <laughs> it does. But I get, I get why people don't like it. But to me, it's got this just like punk fucking vibe to it. Like we're gonna do weird shit, and it's gonna be weird and strange, and it's gonna have a. It's it's a vibe. I don't know. You take right. your goddamn shit out to I'm, the fucking clubs. I'm too old to say vibe. I understand that. No, no, no. But if I know what a vibe is, no, that's say, a fucking you say vibe. Punk rock, I was like, I want my real shit. <laughs> Where's my real rock and roll? This is very Empire Records, by the way. I, I will say there are there's a lot of part like this. I was like, all right, man. All right. All right yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. I get it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you're very, you know, you're very in love with her, and you're very like James Dean. I get it. Yeah. Like, okay, I want to see Michael again. That was a badass scene, and now we just, nothing's happening. Yeah. Nothing's happening! <laughs> Where's Michael? I get it. Like, yeah, I do get it. 
And again, especially when you when you realize how much shit they See, cut didn't out. Heal. Yeah, it didn't heal. So like, why did we spend that time with him unraveling it, looking at it? I guess he, he that wanted, felt like it was in another fucking movie. Maybe he wanted to show it like Michael. It doesn't hurt, dude. It's, it doesn't hurt, <laughs> dude. It's so fucking frustrating. Like it really is. And again, I like this movie, but it is so fucking frustrating that if you just made a couple edits, put in a couple lines of dialogue, you could yeah. fix these fucking problems. And Gordon Green has done this in all three movies, dude. By the way, he, it feels like he's his worst own worst enemy with shit like that. Well, I feel like uh, Michael Myers is such a, a a great story. There's so many ways you can tell that story that you get caught up with certain ideas and you run with a part of it and then you abandon it and you want to go with this. I mean, it can happen to any of us. By the way, I will point out the fact Mike and I are not creators or writers and, and like i know it's a hard job by the way uh 100 it's a hard job to do these kind of movies but i'm just saying it's an opinion and we can all have opinions and we can disagree cordially by the way no need to get all butthurt about things yeah but, like there's a lot of people out there like you disagree with me <laughs> <laughs> by the way if you know that's funny allison is wearing uh Lori strode's outfit yeah that's cool. That's a cool little hello. <laughs> he is funny. I was like, what you doing out here, you ugly motherfucker? <laughs> <laughs> I noticed that. I was like, what about you, bitch? With that gold ass chain, you look like fucking Mr. T's little brother. <laughs> Mr. Nothing. <laughs> he actually does have super. That that feels kind of uh Danny McBride probably. You know he looks line. like dude, he looks like that that kid's like uh, uh you scared of rubber spiders all grown up. <laughs> yeah. You see Scott spiders? You scared of rubber spiders? You scared of rubber spiders on strings? But I get I totally get where she's coming from. Like, I didn't want to leave because God. I want to I want to be here for my grandma. Allison's got but like, I'm tired of this shit. She's got thick ass hair though, mom. Huh? Like her hair's thick. They both have nice hair. I know I do. I like it. I just want to like I just want to squeeze it. <laughs> I don't know why. I just want to be like, oh, that's like that's strong too. Just do per plus not L'Oreal. like in a weird way. I just want to be like, oh, that's good. That's good hair. <laughs> I like that. Look at that fucking stalker, mom, grandma. I, he sees her too. He's like, yeah. You see what I got? I got your woman. And the <laughs> I, I got your granddaughter. This, this, Mark Wahlberg fear, by the way. No, I, like, again, I feel like this movie's fear. Yeah, at sometimes. Well, oh, here we go with the fucking again. You need to ex explain some of this. Why the fuck does she kiss him on the lips right here? What's going on? She liked it. You see the way he pulls back like, mm. not tonight, mom. <laughs> like that's happened before Listen, and I, it's been a problem. I, I know there are parents that they right. kiss their kids on the mouth or whatever, but it's a great line, by the way. Thick, I know? hope you find love. That's a great I like fucking that. line. Like, you know, and there was no like, there was no like judgment in that. He's like, I hope you find love. Mm -hmm. Good luck. You know, he he remind me of fucking like Goodfellas guy. Yeah. Hope you find love. Get out there. And he's like, I'm gonna give you this money here, and now I gotta turn my back on you. This Look scene, <laughs> once again, a very poorly explained stupid. scene. Like this is dumb. Was she? I don't know if this even happened. I think it did happen, but you see a switch in his personality. They're having the conversation, and then something switches, and I think he starts to imagine this shit. And maybe mm. this is Michael taking over his brain. Whatever happened in that tunnel. But it's just poorly explained. I don't know, man. I think this actually happened. I, I just feel like it was poorly edited. No, watch the difference. Like, there's a conversation, and then something shifts. And the next thing you know, she's gone. Well, I yeah, think he, he imagined was... a part of it. I don't know, man, because he's looking off at one side, and he's talking to himself, and then he looks over, and then she snuck out a window. It doesn't make any sense. Well, I know, I, I know, but I feel like it was just a badly edited scene. Why the fuck does she look like she's getting introduced to the music video Freedom with George <laughs> she, Michael? She was like Kurt Russell in uh, Tango and Cash when he's sitting in the chair on that guy. <laughs> it does. It's so bad. Like, I mean, you don't have to make Jamie Lee Curtis look badass. She's already badass as Laurie Strode. So I feel like this is like, like too much. we're trying to make her look awesome. Yeah. Like she's in control. And no, sir, you don't need to do that. I think this is imagined, man. I really do. She looked like she's like sitting on uh, on a Cracker Barrel porch, <laughs> You're ready to like speak some knowledge. <laughs> this is once again like very dying dark horse to me. You know, right here. This is where I, I think this part doesn't actually happen. I think this is in his head. I feel like all this happened. <laughs> I know you don't want it to, I, but I feel like it did.
And that, by the way, you want to do it or you want me to? Like, did he think Michael was upstairs? Has yeah. Michael just been I, hanging I out like with him this whole time? No, it would have been a smarter way to do it if it was inside his brain, and, and they could have played on that, but they didn't do that. I think he's hyping himself up to kill her. Like, in his head, this is where he decides, I'm going to go kill her grandma. And that's why he's like, do you want to do it or do you want me to, even though Michael's yeah. not there? <clears throat> She looked like she was regretting her choices with like branding Activia. Maybe I should have stayed home on this one. That's what I always said. The first time I ever looked in his eyes, I should have surrendered. This was you thinking about your ex wife? My ex boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> that Craig. <laughs> But no, this this guy is a good actor, though. He really is. I mean, I, I you know, and look, you know, everybody can have. And then she's just gone. Yo, know, I think, it, dude, I don't think it's a dream. I think, I think it was just some stupid. You think she like? Yeah, I think she ran out. out. <laughs> like I've, I've seen the strangers when the guy like moved out of the door frame. Really I think quick. this is him going crazy. I don't know, man. Uh, but no, he's a great actor, man. Like he, he really is a good actor. Yeah. I, I feel like he he hits the uh, the emotional points perfect. And one thing I want to say too, like you may fucking hate. You may hate the fact that they they took this movie and they promised you Lori versus Michael and gave you the story of Corey. And I understand that, but it's not this guy's fault. If they came to you today, any of any of us, and were like, hey, we want to make the new Halloween movie about you, would you have said no? Fuck no. So there's no reason to hate this I guy say, uh, for taking a great opportunity for his career. I hate the hate that he's getting. It's, that's it's true. I, I, even if it had Buster Rhymes and I'm like, all right. Yeah. Like, what do you mean to do? Oh, you got to get karate kick by him. Yeah, guy. he took the role. He nailed the role. It's not his fault that they decided to make the choices they made. Yeah. By the way, if you're gonna if you're gonna be an asshole and go after the actors and actresses, you really are. You're a pathetic piece of shit. They literally didn't write the movie. They had nothing to do with the production of the movie. Oh, as far as this was, the, this is yeah. the worst. This is, this is bad. What the fuck? I don't like this. This right here. Get off, he bitch! Say, get off! <laughs> Take you out of here, spank this, you. This does feel Man, like what the it's, fuck? It feels like one of our skits, though, doesn't it? <laughs> like when Michael's fighting with Loomis. All right, how this little ass? No, fuck. I don't shit. like it though. Like, why was he standing there like fucking Batman, waiting on Robin to get back with yeah. his fucking this? I, dude, this is so terrible right here. It's like your dog. It's like your dog waiting at home, and he knows he shit on the carpet. <laughs> He's waiting for you. Like, I don't fucking, even care, dude. This is literally like the kid. Coming home and saying, "I'm taking the truck, Dad." Yeah. No matter what you say. Don't like that scene at this all. This is fucking terrible. Absolutely should have been exercised so from the film. Terrible. But terrible. But I will say, oh, and there he sits up. I will say this though, oh. Michael, and they did a poor job explaining this, and this is on the writers. But it's not like he went in there and overpowered the real Michael Myers. He did. This, this was a weak broken down barely barely even can stand up michael myers so that's why he was able to overpower him i don't know man i feel like it was just a really stupid scene to put in the movie but also dude every time they fuck with mike's mask he freaks the fuck out i know but you, and in this situation he just sat up calm as shit i think michael let him do that because michael wanted to follow him to where he was going to go I, and kill motherfuckers but here's what i thought the same thing when i saw when i saw that in theater dude i got like I got like a sick feeling in my bad, dick. Yeah. I was like, what the same way Sartain, when Sartain put oh, on the mask, it was oh, the same. Ew. It's like someone just punched me there. I Then I wanted to be like, oh no, Michael's smart though. Maybe Michael's doing something with that. But then I was like, I'm so he just bitch slapped him around like he was sea bass. <laughs> and Michael took it. And I was like, I, we were pissed. And I'm still, Buster Ryan punked him out. Don't and like this it. little fucking goddamn nerdy kid comes in and be like, <laughs> take it. And he was like, oh, I hate that shit. I fucking hate that shit. I do too. And I hate the shit you had to take his mask off all the fucking time. Yeah, I do too. I just, I, I, I hate it. I wish it was omitted from the film. It's Again, it would have been an easy fix. You could have fixed this so easily. And that's so frustrating. I'm not going to condemn the whole film for one scene, but I fucking hate that scene. Well, there's a lot. There was quite a few. I mean, there's a scene coming up at the end, but that's definitely the worst. That was one. really bad. I'm just saying that's that's probably that's the bad. worst. That's, uh, I, dude, you know, and I know it's weird for a lot of non or fans. What the fuck happened? You just no, I didn't. I didn't touch it. Yeah, it, it went backwards. Fuck shit. Um, all right, guys, we're watching Hard Target right now. Right now, we're at. If there was a bump in there, 
We are at 117.35, 117.36. If you need to sync up again, we had a hiccup in the thing. Uh, your fucking pants are dumps. We're at 117.45. If you guys need to resync, this whole thing does remind me of this this uh, junkyard scene. I don't know for like I felt like they were trying to mix a lot of Halloween four ish five things going on in this particular scene. I dig it though. This is a this is a I liked it. I just didn't like that it wasn't carnage. Michael Myers doing it. I thought that would bother me. Like I actually thought that that would bother the shit out of me. Watching somebody else kill in Michael's mask. The biggest fear going in the movie was I'm gonna fucking hate that. Yeah. But honestly, with the score and the camera work and the cinematography, no, it looked great. And Corey being a little bit physically intimidating. Like it worked for me. It looked I didn't good. mind that this wasn't Myers in this scene. I, I really didn't. Well, I mean, I liked it too, but like I liked the idea, like, but I didn't like the idea that it wasn't Michael. I guess for me, it was like the same thing as Friday Five when I know it's not Jason doing right. it, especially and when you that. know it's not Jason and you're like, oh, fuck, it's not Jason. Everything about me screams that I should be bothered by Ooh. that. Just honest to God, like, man. I, I that's another it thing. works. You're going to get all the fucking cool kills off screen. What the fuck are you doing? There's that one, there's Darcy. It feels like there's four or five kills in this movie that happen off screen. And I don't understand, especially in a movie that doesn't have Michael in it enough. You could have just put the scenes in there. Look how big her hair is, dude. Like, it looks like White I'm Snake. Jealous. It looks like White Snake running away. <laughs> her hair is so big. But this again, this is a movie where the, the bully, the asshole, they get it. No, they, they do. don't shortchange you. This dude has it. But I, 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 I just I get mad where I know it's not Michael. And Michael, well, you know what makes it worse is that the scene before he just bitched Michael out and took his mask. Dude, I love the guys watching Hard Target right now. That's, That's so good, dope yeah. as shit. Sean Claude Van Damme for life. I, I feel like, like yeah, no, ever, always. Uh, he is my kumite. But no, I mean <laughs> the thing is, what the hell is the dem- on the heels of that scene where he bitched him out, he took his mask like he was a punk. And then he goes out and kills all these people in the coolest scenes ever. I don't like that. I don't, dude. I love the camera angle and the way the the way the wrench drops like that, and the music raising. This is a badass fucking scene. But I get what they were doing. Again, I get what they were doing. But again, uh, like for me, it just goes back to the fact they didn't establish this lore early mm-hmm. enough. If they had done this early enough, people would be like, oh, I get it. It's cool. The frustrating thing is this, this is also fixable. And it short changes what is a really cool scene. Because right here, you're still though, pissed I, I, about all that other stuff. So right here, this is where it gets like, so now Corey's supernatural. That's where I don't, I fucking, I was like, dude, get out of here. I don't think he actually is. I no, just watch, think they watch how quick he moves. That's dumb. That's dumb. Why are you, put the fucking mask back on. Yeah, why do you have the mask Why on? do you do that? You're going to hold it? Watch. Watch how quick he moves. Look. He's just gone? Are you fucking kidding me? Yeah. Like, that's supernatural. Once again, an easy fucking fix. You could have fixed that so easy, and it's such a problem. You ain't never going to be Michael. <laughs> you ain't never. <laughs> I feel so bad for that guy because he's such a good dude. Who? The, the dad. Oh, no, he was great. Yeah, I love that guy. Fuck Stacy. And fuck you too. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! This is a great death. Again, I love it. Just should have been Michael doing it. But the scene's so intense, I almost forget it's not Michael. Look at that shit. That's amazing. Oh my fucking god, dude! Could you imagine a blowtorch in your fucking mouth hole? By the way, shit. Here's the thing. I don't know why you guys. Great can't. shot. That's amazing. It looks good, but it's not Michael. I don't like it. That was great though. Why couldn't you... listen? It's very simple, dude. One of the best, the best Michael Myers death montages that has ever existed, hundred percent. And no matter what you think about the movie, is the operating room scene in Halloween Six. It was a simple strobe light, him going fucking nuts. Just do that shit. They try to do it with Halloween Kills, right? It just didn't work. No, I, I and I, I get what you're saying. Like it, it, I, I just feel like they filmed it so well. I'm able to forget that's not Michael. And it still feels like Michael while I watch well, it, so it doesn't girl. bother me. No, I get pissed. no, no. I think the majority agrees with you, but just for me, when I watch it, the Corey, he also Corey's so small. good in that spot. He doesn't seem small to me. It feels like Michael to me. That girl's fingering herself on a hay bale. Who? That girl there. And again, Corey is so fucking visceral with these kills right here. Mm. 
I'm honestly like, I forget it's not Michael. It feels like Michael. And technically, Michael transferred a piece of himself to him. You no, know, he did. So it kind of is Michael. But they did this when Jason goes to hell. This is just a little bit better done. Right, 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 right. When Jason goes to hell, well, Jason what? was transferring himself by heart eating heart. Right, right. But but this is a little bit definitely, better done. Yeah, it's, it's definitely flushed out better. <laughs> I didn't know that. I said, like, nobody saw that. <laughs> <laughs> nobody saw that. You underestimated the sneak. That's how shitty your radio station is. I love the cramps. I don't know the. Fuck, how do you find out who these people are? It's just this is a great fucking. Is that like a recent band? No, no, they're they're from like the eighties and oh. shit. By the way, Darcy from. Uh, oh yeah, um, last Billy, drive. Uh, Billy, Billy Bob, Bob Thornton. Uh, <laughs> Billy Bob's. Uh, yeah, we know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The last drive-in. Uh, she said, by the way, that that's an actual death scene that got cut. So that's another death scene that's not in the movie. I don't, I don't, I don't understand. Like you already know that you're gonna have it going against you with it not being Michael. Why would you cut out yeah. scenes? That being said, this is Christopher Nelson at his fucking best right here. Watch the tooth fall out when he picks his head up. Oh God damn! That was a uh, uh, that was a tic tac, sir. And then the fucking tongue flopping on the record. Goddamn genius, dude. It's God. just, it's, that's perfection. I would love to do that to so many politicians. <laughs> just to cut their fucking tongue out so they can't fucking keep the spreading it, bullshit. It flips here to say, oh, I love God it, damn, that's cool. And then you see Michael walk out. That's so, that, beautiful. No, man. Uh, the makeup effects and the special effects were awesome in this. Uh, 100%. Like, you can't argue with that. I've got to make me drink. I'll be right okay. back. The way I walk. You're gonna miss the you're gonna miss the best part, the end. <laughs> no, no, I'm not talking to you, Lori. Get out of my face. So when I was watching this, oh, that was cool. I, I do like that shot, but like they show her friends and stuff. But w when I was watching, like I was like, all right, there's there's very little time left. Now Michael's gonna come like a goddamn hurricane, and it's gonna be fucking wild. And we're gonna have like, you know, WrestleMania seven with Ultimate Warrior versus Hulk Hogan kind of shit. Like it's gonna be crazy as fuck. And then they said, nah, we had to cut shit. <laughs> We're not gonna give you. We're gonna do. Uh, we're gonna do uh, Halloween Havoc, and we're gonna end the broadcast early. I don't know what. I think Halloween Havoc '98. I don't know what year that was, but you guys, you wrestling fans, would know what I'm talking about. But essentially, what happened is uh, there was like a big match scheduled, and and everybody tuned in, and then it cut out early. It was terrible. Lori's wearing that cardigan well, though. I will give it to her. And she's also got, like, the same uh, button-up blue shirt and jeans, kind of, like, uh, reminiscent of her original outfit uh, underneath going on. Now, what's coming up here is the uh, the uh, possibility of, um, which you guys are watching, so you guys aren't going to care, but she's going to kill herself, supposedly, um, which I knew they weren't going to do. Because I was like, that seems so cheap. I don't think they're going to do that. But then I thought also, well, if they do that, then Allison has to take up the mantle and fight Michael. Um, because Lori... But I, but when I was like, yeah, but that would like make her character too weak. You know, that she survived everything that she survived just to, you know, eat a bullet and end herself. I didn't think it was going to happen, but um, I was a little concerned. But it doesn't matter because this end is ass. It is ass. And it smells like sewer butt. <laughs> like from here, I can smell it coming and it smells like sewer butt. I'm not, we're not there yet, but we're going to go with the attempted fake suicide thing that happens, which is terrible. I'm going to go, I'm going to go do my work real quick. Okay. This is a, um, this is another pro main problem I have with the movie. All right, and we're going to get to this later on, but Lori's whole, is she fixed? Is she not? 
at the end of the scene, she's gonna she's gonna stop Corey. Did you ever think I committed su- would commit suicide or whatever? And then shoots him, and then has him, and then sh- shoots the rest of the guns out of her, or bullets out of her gun. And then it's like, you want to kill me, so do it. And I'm like, wait, what? I'm confused as to what's happening. And then later on, when Michael has a hand around her throat, she has him dead to rights. And she's just like, just do it. I give up. And I'm like, is she, pick one. Is she either not ever going to give up and going to see this thing through? Or is she ready to give up? Like, they never, it's not a clear line. And again, it's so fucking easy to fix these problems. They're the things that make me crazy. And I understand why they make people crazy, too. I just, I just, it's, it's not well explained and it's so fucking fixable. I did get pumped right here though. And then he kind of gets his comeuppance for the kid. He goes down the steps the same way. Cool scene. But then you, you renege on it in like two minutes. Also upsetting what Corey does here because you, I feel like you won some people over with this Corey character. The actor, Ryan Campbell, is so good. And you're into this character and you're about to just wrap that shit up. Like just, it's confusing. Why put your movie in that situation? Like, what is she thinking right here? Is she going to let him kill her? Is she, does she know Allison's about to be home? It's confusing. And it's unnecessarily confusing. But I'm torn on these situations. Because I'm like, am I frustrated? Yes. Do I think it's fixable? Yes. But it's also kind of fun to not really understand or know. Like, there is two sides to that coin for me. I like the noise you make. Oh, actually, that fucking hurt more than I thought it would. What a pussy. <laughs> and again, I think Lori's smarter than that. Like, she wouldn't pick up the knife and just hold it and go, oh, yeah. you got me. Yeah, it felt very cheap. Don't like that Like, scene. why would you? Yeah, it, 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 this this scene felt cheap. Unnecessarily confusing. But Andy Matichak's acting right here is fucking top-notch, dude. I'm mad at check. Matichek. Um, Mat- Matichek. Uh, Matichek. Or Andy. Just Andy. Yeah, I like Andy. Let's better. just say Andy. How about your name just be Andy Andy? Andy Andy. Like the mints. She looks like she's holding in that poop. This scream's great, though. Yeah, it really is. This actually gave me chills a little bit because I was like, oh, shit. Because I was just like, oh, okay, goddamn. <laughs> it's like, so you're mad. Yeah, no, what I would have so I was like, shh. <laughs> like, she's a little like the neighbors up. Shh. Calm down. I didn't do shit. Shh. Stop. Calm down, Go outside. Man. Take a breath. The only thing that's weird about that is like now, now this is the part where I'm like die hard with the vengeance. That black dude, when he was saying, you know, I hate the N-word, I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I felt like that dude. Like the one that was holding the basketball and like, die hard with the vengeance at the beginning of the movie. And again, this is one of those scenes where it feels like they made four movies and just couldn't make a decisive thing so some movies were left over why does she pick up the gun and look at the bullets here well, she was gonna kill herself was she i don't know it's I so, think so fucking confusing i think she was gonna kill i think she was contemplating killing herself because now in her in in her mind she's a murderer of uh of uh of her granddaughter's uh guy that she had a, a massive crush on and she's all the things that they said that she was she's crazy and then you fucking this is cool i actually love this transition because it's like, oh my okay. god, this like, is crazy. And the, guess what? You didn't look, fucking know Michael's here like, too, by the way. There it is. This was intense. This was really intense. Except the when the, the way it ends. And I'm like, right, right, right. How Doesn't... the fuck is he alive? That's not even true. Well, I mean, horror movies, everybody's got one last breath oh. in them. That ain't true. Dude, I love how intense Michael's face looks right here. The way the camera's like shaking and he's like in his face, it's kind of scary. Crush that shit. I like, he's like, you took the best kills from me, motherfucker. That's intense. I love it, though. He's like, you took the best kills from me? I thought you were going to be my friend. God damn. You dick. I like that. Yeah. You fucking dick. Ooh. Dude, 
By the way, Michael's breathing look is at that, so look loud. Look at that bone crunch. Look yeah. at the little bones in there. I love the sound editing on this, by the way. And my, some you could say maybe Michael breathes a little too loudly in this movie with like the uhs and shit. But like, I kind of like it. I think they did a good and job. What we should have had here is, beautiful shot again. We should have had the WrestleMania six or seven. I don't know. Ultimate Warrior Hulk Hogan situation. So did this, not happen. This scene was not in the original ending where she sees the fire and Hawkins calls and says they just called in a suicide. Mm. But this is the moment. Where Allison realizes, oh, she didn't just murder him. He burnt that tower down. He's doing some weird shit that I don't know about. That's an important thing. I was scene. like, hey, bitch, I got some news for you. <laughs> I'm going to fuck your shit up. I'm back. Oh, my God damn. I got to get a new mask after I'm done with you. I got to get some power. This is the perfect, like, what you cooking? It's like, hey, what a fucking convenient spot to be located in <laughs> like i'm not gonna get discovered here it's kind of dumb though when, when i and they're like final girls don't hide they fight I'm like she's Who fucking hiding that? right now i saw something that oh said that God, like she's dumb. literally hiding i was like what huh what'd you say <laughs> who said that <laughs> i dude this is where i lost like i got tons of disrespect for this i i, I just feel like it's so anticlimactic it's so not the way Michael should have gone it's out. It's hard though, because it's like if you guys didn't spoil seventy percent of this fight in the in the trailers, would it have I been so. as intense as it should have been? Maybe I don't know, because I feel like it just didn't last long enough. What the fuck? Turkey. What's in the bowl, Kelly? We use our oatmeal because I'm oh, taking a shit in them. God damn! Eat this fucking god damn! Are you gonna? I'm, I'm raping. This is where <laughs> I'm raping. This is where you should have explained. Is Ma is Michael weak or full grown? Because there's no like, way again, in hell Lori should be able to fight him off like this if he's full strength. First off, he could have crushed your fucking larynx right there. He they've already established in 2018 he was supernatural. That shit shouldn't even uh, that shouldn't have worked. And then he killed all those people in Halloween kills, so he had all sorts of juice. Yeah, it's one of the biggest mistakes. Take that film. shit. Feel this shit. And like, dude, you guys gave us all of this in the marketing. This is the penultimate holy shit scene. And you showed it to us six fucking months ago, Blumhouse Universal. What like the a, fuck? You know what he's trying what he's trying to tell her. He's like, you know what he's trying to say? He's like, this is why you use the fucking dishwasher. <laughs> but we even said we were like, oh, it's great. The trailers didn't show too much as oh. long as this isn't the penultimate. Get out of here, bitch. And guess what? It is. See, it feels good. It feels oh look, I like that. The throwback the, the part the first one. Yeah, and he the, digs the, it in a little bit. He's like, nope. I seen that shit before. I seen the reruns. <laughs> nope. 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 Almost. If I give you the funk, you gonna take it? Ooh, I should have there should have been more. Oh god, get off his oh that been it. Stop trying to clean my face, mom. No, I'll fucking push that shit down like oh and no, that don't happen. As soon as she touches the mask, oh, he's like, oh god. that's what I'm talking about, dude. Come on now. Come on now. Like I get it. She okay. didn't nail the fuck out of him with that shirt, though. But it's Michael fucking that should have felt like I don't wake you up in the dude, morning. What about now when Blue and that guy with the fucking goddamn uh, shotgun? But thing? again, he is weak. We, we gotta remember he know. is weak in I this think, scene. I think it's no. All right, so you hit him in the chest. But it's still, it's not enough. It's not, it's too this easy. This is bullshit. It's too easy. Hey! <laughs> you dare? <laughs> he came in, he's like, hey! Is that Fridge of Samsung? This is cool. Ow! Fuck! Ah, shit! When <laughs> he said, Jesus wept. <laughs> <laughs> all right, you know what? Now, this is where it's getting kind of dumb. I was like, all right. I hate how. That's so dumb. That's so ugly. I hate how much she's freaking out right here. I don't like it at all. Like, Michael would not do this. Michael here, would not yeah. be like. Ah! No. <laughs> like, it like when somebody's tickling you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I do like that she finds the knife from the previous movie. She seeks out that specific well, knife. Well, she found a butcher's knife. I, I mean, That's the one, though. Yeah, it's poetic, I guess. But it's like, God damn, dude. She's like, I've been on American Ninja Warrior for weeks. He's like, look at yourself. Look how dumb you look. I feel like this was like she gives him the armpit stab, which is a callback to what he did to Little Big John. Yeah, and look, you know it's fine. Whatever. This is like fucking like this is disrespectful. I don't know. I don't like it. I don't think that Michael should be going out like this. I don't either. But again, you gotta remember, not he like is this. fucking weak. He's not Michael now. I don't. And then you gotta take his fucking mask off no. again. Yeah, corn cover band member. Oh my god, right yeah, here that with that mother, weird fucking hair. That motherfucker looks like a goddamn poet. You showed too much. It's Starbucks with his fucking chin strap going on. Oh my god. He's like good. Shaq. You can only this hope to terrible. contain him. Why now? You already got him on your on death's door. You're gonna have him give a speech. Look at the 
Fucking God. Look, I hate, yeah. I, Stop showing his face. Don't Stop look, showing I, his I, fucking I, dude, face. When I was in the thing, I looked. It was like I, Deadpool. I, was like, I don't want to see this shit. I really don't. Like this yeah. is not. This is not Michael. Like this shit looked like some asshole that pretended to be. Hey, shit. You I don't lock it. I don't lock that. I don't. Okay, badass. By the way, when this happened in the theater, I was like, yes, here we fucking go. Worst part of the movie, bar none, where she gives up right here. All the shit you've fucking been through. You have him pinned. You have him beaten. And you give up now? He has one half of a fucking hand. Oh, my God. And you're going to say, do oh. it. I quit. This is Come a, the this, fuck on. This shit right here, like, cool, man. I don't care. What like, the fuck are you doing? I feel like they'd already disrespected people with the, with the fucking Michael dying like this. I, I was just like, what the fuck she, is going on? She goes between being choked out to being able to talk. Thankfully, Allison comes in and snaps this, like, fucking Terrifier 2. I shot! That's Steven Seagal shit. From, <laughs> uh, Mark for death. I, I do like they gave Allison her moment there because she needed one, you know? This is just so... But why did Lori give up? Dude, I, I don't know, man. Like, this whole thing is so disrespectful. Like, it's so easy. This I don't know. Gross. I just don't like it at Ooh, all. This is so gross, by the way. Yeah. That shit is sharp as fuck. Oh, God! Damn, that's No, nasty. man, this is like one of those things when I was watching this stuff. Like, are right, you going to let him bleed out? Everything that Michael's gone through, everything Michael survived, this is the way he goes? I don't like it. Yeah. Fucking dumb, mm -hmm. dude. It's fucking dumb. Worst part of the movie. Like... Where's the where's the payoff, motherfucker? Like this is like watch like if you ordered a Tyson fight back when Tyson was in his prime and you got the the motherfucker got knocked out in one round, you're like, oh, I just spent seventy dollars on that. Beautiful score coming up here. I do like that they show his mask was off because we, and again, one of the biggest problems with this is that it doesn't connect the threads. In kills, it seemed like his mask was the source of his power. Are we still doing that? What are we fucking doing, guys? Like what what are you? fucking explaining like why are we all over the place with this shit yeah, dude I, get your shit together this is one of the worst endings of get your dicks like, in a if, row if this was like this is supposed to be the end of of michael myers in this trilogy right the blumhouse trilogy and this is the worst way you could have ended it right Which like it, the worst way you could have and ended again it. i get where people are angry because if you think that this is the finale like i get why no, michael upset, myers is going to continue like I, any hardcore halloween fan that they're going to do another one but this is like, as far as this trilogy is ending, I'm like, fuck, it's dude. Bad. Like, it should be more than this. And now they're going to fucking do this shit? What like, are you, a Christmas tree? Like, Gulliver's tra uh, Travels? And then the fucking town shows up like it's Black Friday? Oh. Again, just moments that... I feel like this whole thing... A like, couple me, lines of dialogue would have explained them so much better. I feel like this whole thing, the ending of this movie, like... Dude, it just feels anticlimactic. It feels disrespectful. It just feels like a rushed fucking ending. I don't, I feel like there was more, so, there was supposed to be more here and there wasn't more. Yeah. There was no, and then these, look at that ponytail. Like, what is there like a Reddit group where like all of Haddonfield's like, the time is now, show up 11 p.m. at the Winn Dixie and everybody just, it's like a Garth Brooks fucking concert. Look, like, I how seen, did you know? I seen Tommy Knockers. Yeah, they all look like they're like fucking hanging off the edges. Like it's like a fucking concert. Y'all should have, y'all, you guys had to play this out better. This is not good. This you, ending you, was not good. And this is like, I mean, it's I don't also fix it's not look, listen, it's not the resurrection ending. The resurrection ending was terrible, but this is really fucking bad because I feel like what they're, uh, yeah, yeah. I feel like what they're doing is they're just shitting on fans like that love Michael, the ones that showed up for the theaters. They want to see Michael like have this moment. And then they're like, well, we showed you that moment in Halloween Kills. Like, no, you didn't. I wanted to see the final showdown. Yeah. I, and, you, and you got nothing. You this got... ending is why people are upset. And I get it. Well, I'm not going to say. I, I think they're pissed off about a lot more. But, I mean, some of the people that are hardcore yeah, hating I think it's the main but reason. But this is though. a really bad ending, dude. It kind of feels like they just ran out of time and like, oh, we got to wrap this, this up. Like... But we want it to be profound. <laughs> this is like so a let's... Yeah, this like is the like a mother. Yeah, dude, this whole thing with the music and the music is good though, but it feels like a Tears for Fears ending. <laughs> I'm at, <laughs> I'm at a his, concert and his fucking mask is off. Like, come on, guys. Like, yeah. he's like a nobody now. Like, he's just a fucking thing. Like, I know he's supposed to be an it, but not even his mask. Like, and where yeah. the fuck is Iron Lady? It's so dumb, dude. This whole. Like it just seems so cheesy, and like everybody knows their places. Like, yeah, yeah. Allison like, knows where the switch is. Lori knows like, where to go. By the way, remember in the earlier part of this film when they showed that they showed that that that, that meat grinder thing several times, or that 
mechanic, you know, whatever that grinder several times. I already knew it was going to be important. I'm like, oh, that's how they're going to kill him. Yeah. I, I kind of had a feeling inside my 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 loins. That's how they're going to kill him. The 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 effects right here though. This is amazing. No, the wow, effects that's were great. Dope. Leave no doubt. Leave no fucking doubt. I really and wish they did it, not. I Look wish, at this. Look at his foot next to his fucking face. I wish that, I wish that right that point. Michael woke up and dragged fucking Lori with him. <laughs> oh my god, that would be crazy if he just like yeah, on, and everybody's like, ah! talk about a shock fucking ending. Oh shit. That being said, though, one thing I do love about the film is that if we're not going to kill Lori off with Michael, I'm glad that this character went through so much over what's now at this point four films um, in this timeline. She did get a happy ending. I don't so, want her to have one, but no, her her life has been so miserable up to this point what's getting ready to happen with hawkins and stuff like if she's gonna survive michael then let's give her a happy ending in the sunset and let her have some semblance of a happy life i do i, I, I mean some people, i love that they got together they could the go end. with that i just feel like again she was too like she was like the loomis of set loomis would go out with the monster right and at this point loomis wasn't there anymore she should have gone out with the monster and if you're gonna if you're gonna end the laurie strode saga forever kill her with him but that it, ends it and i guess you could say if she's protecting her family she still wins in the end but i also think that like what's the point of her going through this struggle if she doesn't win well something? i mean the, the hero struggle though but the hero struggle is what she is yes everybody wants a happy ending but that would make sense if, if your mm -hmm. foe you go out with him i do like that allison gets the fuck out of town it's real quick this but for, like at least wants. she's like you you know and she's so tough as a character you yeah. know she's gonna find sanctity and i like that I don't know, but again, I again for me, I, I feel like they focus on the wrong character. Allison should have been the girl. Like that that should have been it. Like mm. uh Lori Stroh should have died way earlier, and Allison the, should have been the final girl. And I see what she meant, but in the same breath, people who were upset that they spent too much time on the Corey and her relationship, I think that was Alice getting to shine. She right? did, which was important. But to if me. you don't but I would have made sure Lori was gone mm -hmm. and then made Allison the girl that had to be tough as nails and then make sure it's done. I yeah. I'll do what my grandma couldn't. Yeah. Kind of. Yeah. Get out of here. You fucking wino. God damn. I don't want your fucking carrots. He looks like he picks grapes from the trees and eats them. I don't like kale. And by the way, I love little Patton. Though. Bring me some fucking ding dongs. I feel like this this ending is so stupid, dude. This ending feels like Lifetime by Dean Kane. I I actually like the ending though, dude, because she found happiness, and he. I wanted them to get together so bad that I dig this. It's so anticlimactic, like it's a Halloween movie. This is not fucking Bridges of Madison County, <laughs> but it's a like, character. Holy shit! But it's a character over the sport, the course of forty years. No, so it is. I, but I mean, I, if, if I want to watch that kind of movie, I can watch Clint Eastwood. <laughs> All right, it's like the go. ending of Gran Torino. And I know what we're <laughs> about to see bothers you a lot. Yeah. The mask sitting there. I hate that. It doesn't to me. I mean, it don't, because you're going to use it as a fucking paperweight. Throw dude. back to 78, by the way, showing the different rooms. No, but there's that's no one breathing. Thing. But that, like, you're going to keep don't that. Don't do the Reaper. Fuck, I yeah. I don't know. Like, uh, the you know, the, the song ending is great. Uh, the, the text is good. But I don't know, man. I, you know, there, there's something about this movie I feel like was off. I feel like they didn't. There was like incomplete patches of this movie that didn't make it into film. Or I feel like um, somebody cut shit out that would have made more sense here. And I, and also I feel like if you're going to tell this kind of story, you definitely need to set that shit up in 2018 so that you can tell that story more effectively in the last one. And you didn't do that. Yeah. And there's a lot of people getting pissed. Like if you look at uh, – just for example, Batman and Batman Returns. And then Batman Forever is all fucking like goddamn weird shit. And it's like, you know, Joel Schumacher comes in and changes the whole thing. But yeah. they kind of reference the other two movies in a way, or at least the first movie in one way. Um, I don't know, man. I, I feel like there was a lot of things left on the cutting room floor. And I, I feel like there was, you could tell, uh, for me anyway, there was probably uh, script after script. They were like, we need to cut this out. We need to cut that out. We need to cut this out. Here's yeah. the thing. I didn't get to see the movie, but Mike did. Uh, Terrifier 2 was two and a half hours long. This The fucking Zack Snyder cut was four hours long. Halloween Ends could have been two and a half to three hours long. Mm. And you could have had everything you wanted in that movie. Yeah. And nobody would have complained. And this is the thing, dude. Like, I, I, and, and, and of all the crazy comments that we've gotten from giving it generally positive reviews... Mm -hmm. It's the thing that I think that you guys don't understand. It's like 
and I, and maybe you do after you watch this. Like I'm mad, and I see all the same things that you guys see with the movie, right? Like I see all the problems, and yeah. it's fucking frustrating. And I get it. Like there, some of the shit is so fucking fixable and easily fixed. And I'm frustrated as fuck with David Gordon Green and Blumhouse and Universal with not only the marketing, but the things they chose to leave out and the yeah. things they chose to leave on the cutting room floor. And that, oh shit, it went out right at the fucking last thing. It's just the battery though. So it's all. That's lucky though. Yeah. That's lucky as fuck. God damn. Well, I knew this would happen. That's just, it's just like when we do it live. Though. But I mean, but happening at the very last minute was pretty good. Yeah, I actually thought I had to change it earlier. Is it back on on the screen? Yeah. Okay. Um. <clears throat> like, th that's the thing that I want to get across, like, I see all like I, I feel like so many Halloween fans. I see all the problems. Like you could have done this, you could have done this. Is Michael what's going on there? It's just that at the end of the day, I feel like I'm able to separate what exactly I would have wanted and B, um, what exactly if this is gonna be the penultimate ending, what it should have been. Mm -hmm. And this movie as a standalone as a whole. Again, when I look back at the whole franchise, I see this movie and I, I and I, I just I love the I love certain things about it that are weird about a Halloween movie, like this character of Allison that I care about so much. The Corey character they made me care about. Mm. I, I was very fucking invested in what was going on with that, and it's so different and it's so strange. I would have made a million fucking personal different decisions when it came to the movie. It's just that at the end of the day, it's not what I would have done, mm. but I can appreciate it as just a strange little Halloween movie. You know, I yeah, I don't know, man. Like, is that what I would have done? I watched this movie and and I'm like, man, there were so many missed opportunities. There were so many moments they could have done something so cool with Michael, and uh, and, and really made it effective. And they 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 just missed them. I don't know. It's a missed opportunity. Like, yeah, a hundred percent. And I feel like, um, yeah, I, I definitely feel like they disrespected Michael at the end of the movie. A hundred fucking percent. I, I feel like it was a miscarriage of what I would have liked to have seen with Michael, the way that he goes out and Laurie Strode. Laurie Strode should not have survived this fucking movie. I'm sorry. I don't care. I don't fucking, I like Jamie Lee Curtis, but I don't give a fuck about Laurie Strode. And I feel like if you're trying to move away from that kind of goddamn connection, you should kill her off and make Allison the main character because that was already what it felt like, felt like for me anyway, you were setting up to happen in Halloween Kills. I feel like there was a lot of, uh, not surprising. Uh, like, well, there was a lot of, uh, missteps and, 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 and in continuities that occurred from Halloween Kills even to this movie. So for me, I, I hate that. Um, I don't like that Michael's bitch slapped around, just like I didn't like he was bitch slapped around by Buster Rhymes. I don't understand also the fascination with removing his mask. I think that's fucking dumb. Yeah. Okay. You constantly have to fucking focus on that shit. Get it out of your goddamn minds. Like, just like even in Batman, like they're trying to look at, I don't want to, like, stop. Like, that's not, like, I'm not there for that. And yeah. I feel like you have to focus on that. I, I feel like trying out new ideas and trying to figure out like if this works, that's not a bad thing. I don't think that was a yeah. bad thing. And the acting was not bad at all. I feel like I enjoyed the acting. Corey was not a bad character necessarily. I feel like he was used wrong a hundred percent. I feel like he was used wrong and I feel like his character could have been more because I, but you know, it, 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 it went away. I would not have gone, but yeah. End of the day, man, here's the thing. Um, is it a good Halloween movie? No. Is it a bad Halloween movie? In my opinion, no. Is it an okay movie? Yeah. I That's why I ranked it the way I did. I feel like it's an okay Halloween movie. It's not the worst I've ever seen, and it's not the best by any stretch of the imagination, mm -hmm. but I feel like it's passable, and it's different, and it's okay. But, the, but I will say, uh, also, listen, the thing is about us Halloween fans is we can have disagreements, right? And we can be cordial about it like let's not turn into a star wars star trek marvel toxic yeah. community where because you have a disagreement about something or that you say one thing that someone else doesn't agree with you become a fucking asshole and start saying abort your babies or some bullshit like that like that's disgusting yeah man. It's the shit you it's hear a fucking doing. like movie and at the end of the day that's what it is for me it is as the halloween ends they promised i feel like they failed mm -hmm. uh they promised something and they didn't deliver it and 
yes, they should be held true to that. But as far as rating the movie for what it is, as a movie and as a Halloween fan, I also like it. Like I like this as a standalone movie. I think it was, I think it was, it was a failure in the sense of what you promised it would be. You mm. promised it would be one thing, and then you failed on that. But as a standalone movie, I still ended up liking it. It's like so, like I, I get why people are mad at you for that. But when I look at it as its own movie, and again, it was supposed to be a trilogy capper, so mm. that's on you a little bit. But I thought I liked the vibe of it. I liked so many things about it. As a standalone movie, I liked it a lot. Yeah. And I like it more and more every time I watch it, to be honest. With wow, you. dude. And to be honest with you, like when I go back through this franchise, I'm always going to be excited to watch this movie because it's so strange and different. And I really, I connect with some of the stories they're trying to tell, like what's mm. going on with, uh, with, with Corey and Allison. I connect with that relationship. I connect with, and I think it's fun, the swings that they take as in this timeline with what they were trying to do, they fucked up a lot mm -hmm. and it would have been so easy to fix some of that stuff. But as a movie, I still, at the end of the day, I'm like, that's fucked up, yeah. but I kind of like it. Well, he, and that's I, me. I, I feel I like mean, he's one of the, like for me, I, I feel like I'll just be honest, the more I watch it, maybe the less I like it, but I don't think it's as bad as resurrection. I don't think it's as bad as Rob Zombie's Halloween too. I, I don't think no. it's a terrible movie. He was I, 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 like, maybe I'm be I, like, I don't, Hate it, and I don't like it. I, I I feel like it's a solid entry into the Halloween franchise. Mm. I don't know. But That's yes. a great way to put it. Like I feel like I dislike it as an ending to the franchise, yeah. but I like it as a movie. Well, so. I mean, you're talking about like the the capper for the trilogy. Mm -mm. Yeah, it's terrible. You That's a terrible idea. You know that that would literally for me like the Dark Knight Rises. I mean, again, I know we've used this example before, but I'm just like that's what I'm thinking of. That's like where you let Robin become Batman and then Batman actually died yeah. and he dies in a very anticlimactic way even though he saved the city <clears throat> and he blows up in the sky yeah. he should have died fighting Bane if you're going to do that but either way I feel like it's very disrespectful at the end of this movie I, I really do I feel like there are fans that love Michael Myers and there are fans that <clears throat> have stuck with Michael Myers and to a lot of horror fans especially hardcore Halloween fans Michael Myers is their Batman and to do that kind of shit to him especially if in the Lori like, dude, I feel like, God, it's so cheap. It's so fucking cheap. That's why I was, like, so mad about it. Because, like, God damn, I don't care about Laurie Strode. Everybody was done with Laurie Strode, I would imagine, by the end of 2018. I thought she was going to die at the beginning of Halloween Kills. But we had to have a whole new... That's where I was like, all right, stop. All right, come on. Get a grip here. And if you're going to drop this psychic shit in Halloween uh, Ends, yeah. at least drop the hints in Halloween 18. They didn't do that shit. So... Yeah. I think that, you know, there was a miscommunication somewhere with this trilogy. But anyway, I don't feel like the movie's the worst thing I've ever seen. And I, But all I would tell you guys is that people have a difference of opinion, all right? But the, 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 the main thing is, is that we all are Halloween fans and we are all horror mm -hmm. fans and it's going to happen. So don't be toxic as fuck yeah. and be a dickhead. By the way, like Mike said before, we've said this previous times. This is not the end of Michael Myers or the Halloween franchise. Akkad is still in control. And again, we've talked about this before. Akkad yeah. is the master and commander of Michael Myers. And Michael Myers cannot die in Akkad's mind. Yeah. So we're going to get another another one. And I think I said, I watch all this. But this fucking reboot the movie. Reboot the whole fucking thing at this point. I really would. I reboot the franchise. Let's go somewhere else. Let's figure it out. There's a ton of things. There's, there's, I would do it. I would reboot the fucking thing. There's a million aspects you go and, and, and directions you can go. But at the end of the day, for me, and I feel like this is what's missed between some people who watch and hate this movie and how we feel about it. And yeah. they, it's like, but like for me, as a capper to this franchise, this was a failure. But yeah, 100%. Yeah. And I'm with you on that. I, as, as a capper to the story of Michael Myers, this was a failure on their, on, on their particular. Yeah. But story, as a yeah. movie, and I know this isn't the Capitol Michael Myers story because I know how this franchise fucking works. So as a standalone movie, I really enjoy this movie. But it's both can be true. As a standalone movie, I enjoy this movie. And I thought yeah. I, I like it. And, and I'm going to enjoy it uh, for all the years to come. But the end of but the day, as the end of this storyline, yeah. it was bad. You're right. But both can be true. And that's why I land at a 7.5. You know? Look, I'm not a shill. Mike's a shill. For Blumhouse. 
<laughs> no, that like I swear to God, they why? give us so much. I swear to God, like yeah, they're we so have, nice. We have mansions in Malibu. They let us at the premieres. Oh my God, are you yeah. serious? They let us. They let us do a tribute videos to people. Yeah. They're so good to us. They help us in the algorithms on yeah. YouTube. It's God. absolute. We we have to be nice to them. Yeah, because after Ryan, all they've done for us. Yeah, we usually meet up with Ryan Turk every Saturday night, and he sucks our dick. Yeah, it's so good. No, yeah. I mean guys, come on, stop. Like, <laughs> you guys can. I don't like the movie that much. Uh, I think it's a, a passable movie, mm -hmm. and I've said that. And Mike likes it a little bit better than me, but who gives a fuck? Yeah. It was still cool to see a movie about Michael Myers in 2022, mm -hmm. and that's all I'm care. I hope the movie makes money because I want to keep going. I want to see more Michael Myers stories, motherfuckers. So don't shit on the movie too much. I'm not saying that don't like voice your – uh concerns and like tell the yeah. next director or the next studio hey we don't like this shit that's totally cool it's okay to be disappointed in a movie but still acknowledge but yeah, it was good in its own right but just don't that's kill it don't kill it on this on the tracks and right. be like you can never have another one because it didn't make any money but yeah. this movie's gonna make money and i'm happy for that and, and by the way the acting the acting throughout the entire movie is good i mean yeah. there's no way that anybody can say the one thing they took away from is the acting is terrible. Other than the four high school kids, the movie's fucking great. Yeah. As far as acting ability goes, it's really up there. So yeah, so, yeah man, it, it is what it is. Hey, but we got to we got to enjoy this with you guys. I yeah, can't wait to see fun. all the fucking comments underneath. This <laughs> the whole thing was fun. Uh it, it was all fun. Um, hey, it's a good time to be a fucking horror fan. It's a good time to be a Halloween so, fan. Can't wait to see what happens next. But if, if 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 you're someone who only watches this channel for the Halloween content, and there's a few of you guys, mm -hmm. don't stick around. Make sure you click that bell. Make sure you click the bell. And here's like, why: it looks like a dick tip. Because there's <laughs> other fun stuff to talk about in the world, yeah. and we'll always continue to cover Halloween and everything else, but other stuff too. So hey, thanks for hanging out, watching this movie with us. Uh, we love your fucking faces. Good night, you pieces of pumpkiny shit. I'm glad that you got to enjoy this <laughs> greatest Michael Myers story ever told. <laughs> Halloween never ends Suck my fucking dick And I don't really care What Blumhouse fucking says Put him in a box Or suck a fucking cock You can say he's dead But we all know he's not Yeah So let's go trick or treat it. Let's go fucking drink it. Let's all go in pumpkin head on VHS Cause Halloween never ends Halloween never ends Halloween never ends Yeah